The following program is hosted by immature, irreverent, obnoxious, and often disgusting young men. Listener discretion is advised. This time on Nude Clan, a tranny, a lesbian, and a Jew walk into a caf- uh, walk into a coffee shop. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> more I thought about it. <laughs> I've been sitting on that for like three weeks now. <laughs> Starting this episode out on a great note. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ban hammer. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> it's so Ban true, though. 40, it's so That's exactly what this game is. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> To another episode of Nude Clan, the video game podcast that loves, <laughs> loves itself some ban hammer. <laughs> I am your host, Caleb Schweiss. Caleb Craig. Joseph DeGolier. My lawyer says not to say my name <laughs> for <laughs> real reasons. It's a B. Grixis. That's my name. <laughs> Sticky fingers too. Sticky fingers too. <laughs> yeah. And today, guys, we are going to be reviewing Angry Lesbians Part 2, The Last of Us 2. <laughs> Um, <laughs> the Last of Us as well. The Last of Us as well. Yeah, that's what they should have called it. They missed it. They missed it. It's gone forever. Um, whew, yeah, I, I beat this like a week ago. Um, you guys, it's been a little bit longer. It's Joe's been about never a played month, it. I think since Zach and I beat it. Yeah. Yeah, it's been it's been a hot minute. Yeah, I wasn't able to finish the game, but yeah, yeah I've, never, I've never played the first one either. So yeah, first one, kind of I own it. That's kind of important. <laughs> I own it. Like, it's downloaded on my PS4. Like, it's looking at me. It's like, everybody says this game is amazing. I think you would like it. Everybody. And I'm like, eh, I'll do something else. It's only like eight hours long, too. It's a pretty short game. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, this one on... on I thought game. you were the last of us, too. I'm like, you fucking lie to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, this... The last it's like of us four two. times longer than that. <laughs> it's like... Three times bigger than this. <laughs> it's a long game. Everybody knows. Everybody knows it's a long game. Where's this a game yeah. for ants? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, that's part of the reason why this review has taken us so long. Is it's just it's kind of a long game, and it took me a while to get through. Yeah, it is because I've been busy. Um, it's essentially two games. And here's why I've been busy. And I, and I told two of you. I actually got another job for a little while. Yeah. yeah. With the Census Bureau. <laughs> yeah, I did it. I did it. Why didn't you tell me? Because I didn't want you to know because I knew you would judge me. (laughs) And now it's like I'm still technically employed, but I just haven't been answering or like scheduling myself to work because I'm like, I'm actually kind of done. And they said, hey, you're on. Everyone's on call now. And it's like, no one's called me. So I guess I don't work. (laughs) You know what, though? That must have been a good few like 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 month or so with those checks. Oh, yeah. I bet that was beautiful. It was a lot. But now I'm like, I really hate myself for doing it, so I'm done now. And that's a big reason why I've been taking so long on this stuff. Because I just don't get to sleep. And what I would do is I would do it like three days a week. And then I would do, so I would do like seven hours of that. And then like eight to ten hours at my other job in one day. It was a lot. That's too much. That's part of the reason why this review took a while. Another part is uh, we had, you know, it was supposed to be an Uber game. But then only three of us played. Yeah, you know, sorry Joe, about that. Joe's been doing this lately. It's like it's sorry. ever since ever since uh, I only play. I only beat six games this year. Ever since that fucking um, Lord of the Rings game. Yeah, you, you just kinda, I, I fucked up on that one too. Yeah, you just been kind of not playing the games that you're supposed to play ever sorry, since then. Guys. It's been years. <laughs> Look, been man, years. I'm really stressed out. I got other projects going on. I mean, Craig didn't beat that game either, but you didn't even Fuck play off. it. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even play the game. <laughs> Well, even then, when I beat a game, sometimes you guys argue with me on whether or not I actually beat it. That's true, yeah. Like Bloodborne well, I mean, or Parasite having somebody, Eve. Having somebody else beat your game for you and then stealing someone else's save 
You kind of seems what? pretty I, iffy. If we didn't count it, and I was okay with not counting Parasite Eve as games beat. It's a tough game if you However, fuck up. However, I played. <laughs> I played the whole game. What a white person thing Although to do. Although I didn't beat it. <laughs> you went to another place, stole their shit. Dude, I was stuck. It was a bad save, <laughs> and I couldn't <laughs> move on. Didn't you get rid Dude. of like the best gun in the game? Yes, that's what happened. And then you couldn't f- f- combine the. You guns. guys remember this better than I do. Yeah, did you yeah. block it out of your memory? Yeah, <laughs> you're just like fuck this show. I mostly remember just my Photoshop <laughs> glory that I that I came that came out of that. Yeah, game. that was a good one. I, that was fun to come home to <laughs> on my desktop. Is that Parasite Eve logo? Yeah, I did really beat Bloodborne because. I didn't do anything outside of it. I didn't take anyone's save. I got from the beginning of the game to the end of the game. Yeah. Did you get help like a puss? I did get help yeah, like a puss, okay. but that doesn't mean I didn't beat it. Uh, it kind of does. Cheap, I cheesed. Cheap versus cheat. I was cheap, but I didn't cheat. I cheated for that game, too, because I, I saved my file at the end, and then I got all three endings without That's playing it three times. That's not cheating. It kind of is, because the whole point of the game yeah, is it, it starts over again. That's nah, okay. But I was like, yeah, I don't really care. I mean, like, I got them normally because I played through. I beat that game, like, five times. Yeah. So, so according like, to a definition I found for cheating, it's, like, using an outside thing to influence the game. But that's what I did, though. I used Not an outside really. thing. Not really. You didn't use a game it's chart. A PlayStation, like... It's a PlayStation save your, uh, upload your save file thing. It's outside but of the game. But what if it's emotional cheating? What's the definition? Yeah. Does that count? Does that count as real cheating? cheating? Does that count as real cheating? Uh, I say no. I think that's bullshit. Okay. Uh, um, <laughs> but I don't know. I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe I did emotionally cheat Bloodborne. <laughs> I did beat it, though. I beat I him, think it depends, and it was crazy. It depends on your partner at the time. How does Bloodborne feel about this? Yeah. <laughs> did you talk to it? I mean, technically... I think I, we should ask, uh, what, what's his name, Miyazaki in charge yeah, of... Yeah, uh, go talk to Miyazaki. Soft. Make yeah. sure you, like, str- caress him first. And yeah, that you know Miyazaki you is not as good as the other Miyazaki I know. Yeah. I mean, there's a few of those. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, uh, yeah, I did all three of the endings because I cheesed it. But I mean, beating that third one is crazy. Which one? The one where you fight both things? Yes. So did you know that's the, like, that's supposed to be the true ending? Yeah. So the good, the good ending isn't the, the true ending. And I'm like, oh, it makes sense. But like, what? I don't like the ending of that game. Dude, I love it. You, like, let Garman go, like, you free his soul, finally, and then you become an elder god? Yeah. Because, like, the nightmare just keeps going. Yeah. Like, I, so I actually picked up the comic for it, and it's kind of cool, because, like, the, the chick, like, wakes up, and she's like, fuck, I'm, I'm, again? Because they go into fight, and she's like, again? Yeah. She's like, I've seen this before, I've done this before. And I think, I mean, it's cool, but... I want a second one so bad. I want a second one so bad. It's my favorite game on PlayStation 4. Eh. Hands down. No, okay, God of War, but like still. Sekiro is a better game. I love you should play Sekiro. I have played Sekiro. You don't like it more than Bloodborne? I, it's, I don't know. To me, like I do, and I do like Bloodborne more. But it's just, I just, it, I love everything about Bloodborne. They're right. also different games. Everything, yeah, everything about. Bloodborne? Yeah, I love everything about Bloodborne. Sekiro actually I, has a story I, though. I, I think that you would like five it five times, Joe. I went balls. Bloodborne deep into that has game. a pretty decent comic. Yeah, Bloodborne has more lore, and Sekiro actually has a story. Oh, you mean item descriptions? You mean Bloodborne yeah. has more item descriptions? Uh, I think it's about the what? same. Oh, but... man, I am so, <laughs> I'm so in, enthralled and in, in, in wrapped up in these item descriptions. Yeah, the only reason if why you're so t- in-depth. If you talk to people in the game, they tell you what's going on. You can go yeah, to people and talk to them. Yeah, because you got time to talk to people in the game when, like, some fucker with an axe is coming at you. <laughs> some what I mean, if you're good at video games, some you do. Like, fuck. You don't fuck yourself, Zach. I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who the fuck you are anyway. Get the... F- what the fuck? <laughs> you make one shit movie and you're a star, ah. kid. <laughs> <laughs> two shit movies now. <laughs> I made two shit movies? Yeah. You only got two. I mean. Yeah, your porno that got leaked. <laughs> yeah, I <no>, know. <laughs> The, one, the feature length porno. <laughs> I haven't seen the second one yet. Still, I only have days. one movie. What are you talking about? You got the Emmanuel song. Oh, that's Emmanuel short, song's a short. That's a short. That's I have fair. lots of shorts. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, A Four's got a good point. There's a dude on on YouTube called uh, Vada Videos, and he does like lore videos on like souls and like all. That. It's really interesting, actually. I'm sure it's really interesting for someone who gives a. Fuck. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's I yeah. <clears throat> But today, sadly, we're not reviewing. Uh, Good games. Oh, sorry, sorry, we're not reviewing Sekiro. I apologize. Yeah. Uh, so, or Last Blood of Born. Us, Last of Us Part Two. 
Uh, the hit sequel to the hit game. Yeah, man, it's got rave reviews critically. It's, yeah, by fake gamers. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I'm just, I'm just mad because some of the people like that do comment on those things are just fucking pricks. I imagine that Zach's review of this is not going to be super positive. And actually, I do have a lot of positive things to say about it. I really do. A lot of them. Yeah. Yeah, but as many as no negative. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> let's uh, fuck. Let's dive in. We're we gonna play the trailer. Oh yeah, that's right. Let's dive in after five minutes. I don't know if I've ever the seen the trailer for this. Really? Game. The trailer's yeah. actually pretty sweet. Is it? I thought it was all right. Like it was I a- knew it was announced, but I never watched the trailer of the game. So, so we all know too. I had no intention of playing this game. And then there was like a At ton all. of leaks, which I also didn't see. But I didn't look for the leaks. Yeah, I did have some of the shit spoiled for me because of them. Because of leaks. Yeah, I heard about some of the leaks. Um. It's that second one. Second one's the trailer. Okay, let's let's watch this. I know that a lot you don't want to watch like... a twelve minute video. Yeah, well, that, was, that was gameplay. Yeah. It's twenty sixteen. What the fuck? Love games being announced four years before they come out. <laughs> it was delayed a lot, though. Yeah, like Ghost of Tsushima. Because of COVID, right? <laughs> no, this was before COVID. He knows what he's saying. I know this was before COVID. I'm talking about the game was delayed during... No, no, you understand. 2016 was before COVID. (laughs) Technically all time before. (laughs) Choke some people out. (laughs) Jokes on you, I'm into that shit. She should really wash her hands before playing the guitar. God, what guitarist does that that slowly? Doing it for drama, I know. Really, really bad drama. Cause I know I'll kill my enemies when they come. So the good and the sinners will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell on this earth forevermore. Said I walk. Beside the still waters and they restore my soul. But I can't walk on the path of the right because I'm wrong. I can't walk on the path of the right. I forgot this was like the audience, and I was like, why is this in the trailer? <laughs> I thought she was like imagining a crowd. That's what I thought too. I was like, this is really weird. Not every last one. <laughs> this trailer denotes a far better game than what we got. Whoa. Uh, man, I almost feel bad having Joe here for the review because... Because I didn't play it? Yeah. Well, you didn't play the first one either. And so, uh, have... so what am I going to care? I'm not going to... Well, if you have I'm intentions... I'm going to hear stuff here and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to not remember them. If you have intentions of playing the first one... Unless you you're like, know. Bruce Willis is dead! And then... 
No, there's not really any spoilers of that. Okay. Movie. All right. Well, there kind of is, though. Like, <laughs> I mean, not really. Well, the guy from the first game dies in the very beginning of the second <sighs> game. That's kind of a big deal if you're going to play the well, first I mean, game. If, I mean, not. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> no. At the very beginning? Nah. Yeah, like five minutes. That's five not a hours spoiler. In. That's not a spoiler. It's like five hours in, maybe four. No. For not what? Even. If that, for Joel dying. No, it's like 20 minutes. It's in the very beginning, and like I mean, like it it, it feels longer because I explored a lot, but it's not that far into the game. Yeah, because like th- what happens after is the whole plot of the game. Yeah, so uh, this game picks up right where Last of Us One ends. Um, well, not really. It starts up like four years later when well, they're in, they're in like some kind of town. Um, you have no idea what fucking happens. They're in Jackson. They're in Jackson, Wyoming. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's like a I'm something that Jackson. happened the night before or whatever. You don't know what it was, but like, and then there's like weird tension between Ellie and Joel yeah. now. Um, and then Ellie has to go out on a scouting mission. Yeah, and it's an area she hasn't been to before, and so the the dude, what's I can't remember the kid's name. It's been too long. Since Jesse, is it Jesse? That's what yeah. I almost said. Okay, so did Jesse like they they have like a, their characters like are really good. Like I liked their interactions because mm-hmm. they were like they played it as they had been friends before i thought jesse was good with her yeah he has more chemistry with her than her love interest yeah um man there's a lot to unpack in this game like there's a lot of <laughs> yeah a lot of stuff uh so basically yeah it starts out right after or after last of us one it's a few years but they basically got to the town that they were looking for in the first game and then you're kind of doing missions and you're kind of doing stuff and it's showing you know i think it does a pretty good job of like fleshing out the world there's a lot of people that made it to this town um plenty of people that are alive they built it up a lot and uh we have like little raiding missions that people go out and they go like yeah everybody's responsible for kind of keeping the community safe by like mm-hmm. killing any nearby zombies or like se- saying yeah. like whether or not they've seen But any. like but not everyone's told to go out because like there's people who have legit jobs like yeah. there's restaurants there's people that like make sure like there's still power there's people that take care of the animals there's people that do repairs yeah. so they they've re- they're trying to restart civilization and they're doing a pretty damn good job of it in this town Yeah um and then you and uh your your Jew lover go out and <laughs> the the that's the chick from the the pre roll. You're the, not you're not lovers yet. Oh, that's true. Cause, yeah, yeah. Because she had just barely broken yeah, up. With you Jesse have to like wait few days twenty before. minutes before they fuck. So uh, yeah, they get high in the fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so in true, you know, in true awesome fashion, you, you first meet this girl and she's drinking. Um, and of course she's pregnant, so that's lovely. You don't find uh, that out till later, though. Yeah, yeah, but she was when that happened. Yeah, uh, because totally that was after was. she broke up with the guy who got her pregnant, so that's obviously true. she would be pregnant. Uh, but, you know, it's her. It's up to you. It's, it's your choice. It's yeah. a personal choice. It's a personal choice, yeah. You know, I'm surprised people don't make that argument for that kind of stuff. Like, oh, you know, it's my body, my choice. Like, oh, okay, that's, why not? Well, fuck it, yeah. You're right. Drink, just drink. Smoke, and then she, too. Smoke pot, yeah, fuck it. They Old, do, they did. Ancient they pot. They do both of those <laughs> yeah, things, yeah. I don't understand why they're, like, weirded out, because it's, like, old... Like the pot's all old. I'm like, does that matter? Like, does it go bad? Like, I don't know. Can't you still I mean, get if high? It's dried out. I think that that's they use that for. Uh, I'm not a pot shit, smoker. I yeah, <laughs> I was like, everyone's bummed out that the pot's all dried out. But I'm like, mm. I, I would probably still smoke. The audience it. at home, I guess, will know a lot better. Than yeah, because yeah, that's that's who's playing the game. Yeah, those stoners. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So you you go out and it, it, you explore the world. It's winter. Uh, which is kind of cool because like the zombies are hiding in the snow. Kind of cool. Sometimes it's really cold. Yeah, too. yeah, very cold. Um, there, yeah. What didn't make sense to me is like if these zombies are like fungus based, how the fuck are they working in winter? They shouldn't be. <laughs> yeah, they, they should hibernate. Going, yeah, they should be sleeping. It's like they should like, either in the walking be dead. hibernating or dead. Yeah, like in the Walking Dead <laughs> show, like still... zombies, like the winter is the best time because the zombies are all just like frozen under the snow. Well, not only that, but like so, they're like, using the corpse of the person and they would like definitely be dying out yeah which i mean whatever like we're playing a game about zombies so i don't really care but like just something i like when i had played it i was like oh, that's interesting i wouldn't have thought that yeah <clears throat> yeah it's it's honestly there's a lot of like ways to scare you too that like don't make sense to me because it's like why are they just sitting idly for years and then suddenly someone comes oh, by yeah. and they're like boo <laughs> <laughs> here i am 
It's like this doesn't make sense as like yeah. a zombie. Oh, yeah, because they're creature. like iced. Like some of them are there for months because they're iced in. Yeah, yeah. And then there's ones that are like in the wall and shit. Yeah, those are kind of like, the- cool though. Like I was like. I thought those were cool when they, they like, are. broke off the wall, and you're like, ah! they are. But why are those ones in the wall, and then there's other ones that are walking around? Like, why, why, why is this happening? What makes um, them do the things they I do? I think it's because it's when they start transforming to like the next stage. And that's yeah. when they go wall mode. Yeah. yeah. They like kind of concoot. I mean, because like in some themselves. of these, in some of the buildings where you do, because you only find them in buildings. Like those kind of ones, it's places people haven't been for a while. Yeah, like so the, I wonder the if the they just become comatose because the, uh, they're not they're not finding a food source. So they don't have to be active. But so they're they, kind of like hibernating, you know what well, I mean? And then maybe they just become spores. That's what their thing is. They, they, could, become, be, they could be, too. That's a good point. Maybe well, like the bloaters, super infectors uh, maybe, blow up with spores. Yeah, but so. like maybe the bloaters are like active act, like active ones that are eating, though, too. You don't know. It doesn't explain it. Yeah. I mean, it's one of those things. Which, I mean, like, I uh, I liked the, like, the zombies in this one a lot. Yeah. Like, the amalgamation was sick. Yeah, there's a lot of, yeah, but story, we've got to do story first, so um, you go out and, uh, you know, you're just kind of exploring and finding new stuff, and then um, it it cuts to another party, um, another party of people that's, like, coming after Joel. It's Abby. Yeah, it's Abby. But you don't know that at first. I mean, you can, like, piece it together, but it's like, we're looking for someone, is all they say. Yeah. Yeah. So um, you can piece it. And then, you know, this other guy that she's kind of, like... It seems like she has a history with. It's like, oh, there's like a town there. We shouldn't fuck with that. Yeah, well, Dave Rubin. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's, she, why, that's the way that guy. Well, because she's like, like she's like, are we gonna go? And he's like, well, I mean, because he tells her his girlfriend's pregnant, and she's like, so yeah, we're gonna actually head back. And she gets pissed. Like Abby's, yeah. Abby's mad. Yeah. Like there's a town there, and they're like, that's too dangerous for us. Well, and it's like, like it's like that's where he has to be. That's the only place he could be. Yeah. So like. Um, and so they were like, yeah, we're gonna, we're just gonna turn around. And then she's like, fuck that. And then she like kind of goes on ahead. Dude, I had, um, I had fun in her playthrough on that because punching zombies was fun. Yeah, you just and, like, beat break them it, to death. Breaking their necks, that sound was fucking beautiful. Like, that's my favorite sound effect in the game is like the crunch, like soft pop as you like go through. Like, I loved it every time. Yeah. yeah. So good. It's fun just beating the shit out of people as a man woman. <laughs> Dude, she is crazy. She's like super buff. That's the one uh, that I called the tranny in the thing. Even though she's not, she's just a chick, but she's got a well, I dick mean, too. There, <laughs> there, there, there is a tranny. There is person one. The yes, game. there yeah, is. That's a trans what I thought person. you were referring to. No, it's Abby. It's the three main characters. I figured you were talking about Abby because it made more sense. Yeah, but, I did. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, so yeah. The, <laughs> <laughs> she Abby runs into um, Joel and because she's getting chased brother. by zombies, like they're all getting yeah. attacked. She, they're getting attacked by zombies. Yeah, and, and then but they... she doesn't know who they are, um, and then they kind of like help each other out and like escape the zombies. Yeah, they save her and they go back um, to like where the other party is staying. Yeah, so she, they kind of like lead her back to where her friends are, and then she turns on them the second that they reveal that it's Joel. Yeah, so he um, said, they go, what's your name? He's like, oh, I'm Jesse. And they kind of, like, get weird. And he's like, and yeah. I'm Joel. And they just kind of, like, not Jesse. It's, it's uh, the brother. He says his name, and they all kind of get weird and start looking around. He's like, and I'm Joel. And they're like, oh, it's game time, motherfucker. And they blow the brother's leg out with a fucking shock. And they knock him out, and they blow uh, apart, like, Joel's leg with a shotgun and just drop him. Yeah. And then they just start beating his fucking skull in with a... a golf club well they, not that, that's the end they, yeah. they torture him first because they, they start kind of get well, answers she hits him with the like in the face times, yeah, yeah but a couple of like yeah the skull's the end thing but like they start torturing him first yeah and then you play as uh the girl from the first game ellie uh, ellie and she's trying to find joel she's trying to find out what happened because like he went out on this little raid and then he's missing yeah and then she like finds the building that they're in and she like walks into the door right as like she sees them beating the shit out of him. And she, like, goes then, running to save him and they capture him. Then right? they beat the shit out of her and, like, hold her down. And then that's when they, like, like we have to, we so have to go. go. And dude, then they knock her out and then they just fuck off. Fuck, dude. Abby just fucking picks it up and just hits him, like, right in the head. And, like, you see brains and shit, like, on this golf Yeah, ball. this game is the most violent thing I've ever experienced. Dude, I, I yelled at the TV. I was so fucking mad. Yeah, really? Dude. I knew that. I like, knew he was I knew, it was die, good. I knew but... he was going to die, but I was, like, in the way he did. That's what pissed me off. Like, in the way he died is what made me mad. <laughs> Dude, I was sense. in the party when uh, Zach <laughs> got to that part, and he was like, Are you fucking kidding me? 
<laughs> That's so fucking. <laughs> I quoted her. I'm like, I'm gonna kill them all. I'm gonna kill them all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I, I, had, I got out of the party. Like I was like, hey guys, I can't for a second. I took my headphone and I walked walked. I'm like, okay, like it's a game. It's just a game. It's okay. It's just a game. Yeah. Um. So. Yeah, she watches Joel, her father figure, basically just get brained, and then they With leave her alive. With unresolved uh, issues, because they had had a fight up towards that, and she like part of like the story thing was she uh, was gonna go and talk to him because her and Dina talked about it, and yeah. they were gonna like re like she was yeah, gonna make she amends. basically was like talking to Dina about how they were like working on fixing their relationship. And Dina basically. Dina's like you, like basically tells her to she's like, well, hurry, you need to do it. Yeah, and then that's what her plan is, and then Joel gets killed before she can do that. Yeah. Um, so she is like destroyed, like she's very distraught. And honestly, what I thought was going to happen was that she was going to find out what Joel did and that she was going to kill Joel. But she, um, and that's why I was like, this game is going to be so gay because that's such a shitty story. Cause all wasn't. I saw was like angry lesbian Ellie and that's it. Just angry and gay as fuck. You and know, they really like, did like double down <laughs> on that, like butch lesbian design for her for this game. Yeah, they kind of did. Yeah. Like with the tattoo and the fucking plaid. Is Ellie the one that looks like <laughs> Ellen Page? Yes. yes. Yeah. Wow. So it's, so it's true to form. I think they tried to sue. She sued him She's, for that, didn't she? No, she did the, she did the capture for it. Oh, did she? Oh, which is the one that she, oh, it was the, uh, the other game that's, that she, there's another person that Beyond looks just two like, souls. yes, yes. That's yeah. the one that she sued. Because they basically copied her. Wait, so she is in Last of Us? Yeah, her... no, no, she's not the voice for it, but she does the motion capture for everything. I don't oh, know. The voice Did is she... the voice is she... Ashley Johnson. Did she do it for two? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know that. Mm. I don't right. know why you'd want to capture her, but yeah, whatever. I'm looking this shit look... up. Yeah, so she did <laughs> the body capture. Yeah. For that. Uh, so they based it off of her. Yeah, her yeah. character. Um, hmm. kind of like a boy girl kind of deal. <laughs> So like it, it goes to like to a few days. Is it a, is it a, is it a few days later? But then they got a man girl as well, and that's the one that kills Joel. She's got the biggest shoulders in the game, I believe. Uh, dude. Her yeah. biceps are massive, dude. And she fucking uses them to full effect. The whole time, she kicks ass. the whole time I was playing, I gave her the uh, doctor girlfriend voice from uh, <laughs> from Adventure Bros. It's like, come on, you guys are back there lifting, you bunch of pussies. <laughs> Put some more forty fives on there, ladies. Come on. <laughs> Do you think she used to be a man, dude? <laughs> but she's not the one that was a man. <laughs> Honestly, like, talking about Abby, though, like, I think I had more fun playing as Abby in the game. Oh, yeah. Her parts are definitely By better. By far, yeah. had more fun playing as Abby. Yeah, it was great. Um, uh, it's because, you know, she's a new character, and so her entire being wasn't assassinated. Right. And some, uh, some I want to talk about quick, too, with, uh, with Joel. Like, I saw a lot of comments on Twitter, especially, because those idiots don't have any fucking filters. Or, like, in some other, like, Facebook and stuff, like, in gaming groups I was in. And they were talking about how, like, oh, you know, Joel died. And you're, you're going to hate Joel in this game. And so, like, the reason they, t- like, we can say we're reviewing it. The reason they're going to, like, they're saying you're going to hate Joel is because you find out, like, the doctor you kill in the beginning of Last of, or the end of Last of Us 1 was Abby's dad. Yeah. And so that's her whole motivation into wanting to kill Joel. And they're like, well, you're going to hate him. You're going to hate him. And I'm like, and I comment <laughs> on a few of them. And I'm like, bro, I made the decision because you don't have to kill everyone in the hospital. I fucking killed everyone in that hospital. I made the decision to kill him in that last end lady. I blew her ass away. Like I, cho- <laughs> I, I chose that. And so it's like, I don't, well, I, was like, I don't feel that, bad about it. Like I don't, I don't, I don't, I still like Joel's character. I think Joel's the best character. That in the first scene game. in last of us one, he threatens to attack Joel with the scalpel. If he tries to go for Ellie. So he's just like, well, fine. Then you die. Yeah. So it's like, you know, if you threaten me, you die now. Like, you, th- we could have walked away from this, like, all peaceful. There could have been yeah. no death at all. Yeah. But they chose, they yeah. chose to. But in the know, second one, you. they make it look like he was just yeah. standing there, too. They retconned it so that you're a fucking asshole. Because Druckmann is a fucking idiot and doesn't pay attention to his last games. Um, but yeah, so anyways, like, you're going to hate him. And I'm like, dude, I made that decision, like, because you don't have to do it. I made that decision to do it. And I would do it again. Fuck Abby's dad. I would blow him away a second time. Yeah, well, I think that's the whole point of this game's story is that, you know, we like Joel a lot, but there's also another side to that. Well, they also you know? like... Well, yeah, but I mean, like, that's with everyone. Everyone's got... A, Abby's not clean. She's not a good person. No, yeah, she's no not. one in this game are. No, she's None a None of the people in this game are. And it's real. Person. It's realistic, and I get that. But I'm not going to hate him because of it. Because I would, no, I would, I chose, I chose what most, to do. I the chose the least to realistic people. thing is the thing that makes me fucking laugh my ass off, and that's when they try to force spoon feed you that 
bullshit about like the doctor dude being like a super great guy because he saves a zebra from a trap. I mean, to be fair, I thought he was a good guy for saving the zebra. <laughs> I was like, dude, I would do dude, that that's too. Like, that's the most obvious, like, this is a good guy bullshit that you could possibly throw in right, any but, storytelling. But I get it because you're seeing it from Abby's side. You're seeing who he was from her side, and that's understandable because she's gonna think of him as a good guy because it's her dad. She loved her dad. Well, and then there's like also that part where they they talk about like how he's got to kill Ellie to like get the tumor out so like, he can I'm... study it. And he's like, I don't know if I can do this. And then Abby's like, You should do it, Dad, because if it was me, I'd want you to. And it's like you have no right to <laughs> fucking say that. Like it's not your goddamn life. It's she, somebody else. She's a huge teacher's pet. Yeah, you teachers. Yeah, she's like, you should go ahead and kill this other girl that nobody knows because we're like, you know, completely separate from this person. Right. Well, but yeah, like, but the girl in, in the first game, she willingly goes there though. She knows what's going to happen to she her. She doesn't know that uh, Ellie does not know that she's she, going to no, die. They, they just told her going to do tests on her. Oh, yeah. really? That's, that's all. They, she doesn't that's know all she's going to say. Die. The only time that no, the only person that, that whole... finds out they're going to die is Joel when the, the black lady who runs the fireflies. She tells him tells her or tells him that she's going to die and because of this. Thing. And that's one of the scenes in and the second one is that's the why he like, chooses to go get her one thing yeah. i'll say real fast the uh joke about like there's like three black male actors in the world that <laughs> is actually true for black females in video games there's like one it's like the angry sassy chick from uh new colossus is every black woman in a video game well, for I mean, real because she says she even looks like the one from call of duty modern warfare remake that she looks like that person, just kind of like weirdly buggy eyed. Oh, like, the one that's in the the Jedi one. Uh, yes, <laughs> yes, it's the same fucking person. It's the same one. It's the same one. Have They're you seen Letter Kenny? Reinforcing my stereotype. Have what? you seen the show Letter Kenny? No. Because the chick on that, yeah, the bartender, I know, I that same looks thing. exactly. I'm gonna look it up real quick, and I'm gonna show you <laughs> because Gail looks, and I don't know if they use her model. And they they fucking probably do. But uh, yeah, that's that's what the girl, from the, the lady from the first game. That's all I can think of is just kind of the 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 one that we get over and over again. It's weird. Uh, but yeah, the, I don't remember that. I don't remember that Ellie didn't know she was going to die. So that makes it a little different. Yeah, um, she doesn't know. Like, see, that that's why there's that cut scene in, uh, in <laughs> yeah. The Last of Us 2. Like her. Yeah. The eyes, man. Um, so, like, when it explains why there's tension between Ellie and Joel, like, somewhere, like, halfway in the game, it's because Joel tells her yeah. that she was going to die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like and an that's idiot. Why, and that's why he was like, I can't, I couldn't let that fucking happen. Yeah. And that's why she gets pissed off at him. And she's, she's like, like, it was my, it was my, my choice. My, my life was supposed to mean something and now i just have to live it yeah, yeah. listen which is, sweetie which is i don't want to be alive bullshit. either <laughs> it's like oh well, you fucking asshole you're making me live like i mean yeah it's like it's like the like beginning this. it's like that one scene in the uh, the incredibles when like uh, when mr incredible saves that dude from like committing suicide and he sues him and he's like yeah and he sues him and it's like fuck you <laughs> yeah yeah, kind of. Um, so we get a lot of that. We get a lot of building um, yeah. between those two. And it's always in flashbacks of, like, finding out more and more that Joel did tell her. Because yeah. you don't know that she No, knows. yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, it's it's a thing that, yeah. Because she yeah, talks you, about it with You Dina. kind of assume that, like, she knows that he lied and that that's well, kind the of first, what's causing it. But you don't actually know. Because the, like, the first thing she asks him when she wakes up in the car, she's like, oh, why are we gone? I wanted to, I wanted to thank them and talk to them. And he's like... No, we had to leave. And she's like, "Well, he told did her something that happened. She went, did something happen? He goes, no, you're good. Uh, yeah, he said there was like a bunch of other people who had immunity too, so like she didn't need to be there. Yeah. So, Which is a so lie. They, so and so like, just but study you them. say it's like her life's supposed to mean something, but like later she says too, she's like, she blames herself for like the apocalypse still going on. Well, though. not only that, but because like in the very beginning of the game, she says, like, one of the things she says is like, I want to live till I'm 73. She says that in the very like first twenty minutes of the game, and then and then later she's like, "Fuck you for making me live my life." Eh, I, I think, should have died. That I, I day. think I think it's more survivor's guilt than anything, because like the apocalypse is still going on, and she's like she doesn't know if her if her blood would have worked. Because if it had, they wouldn't have been done, and they wouldn't have to worry about it. Yeah, we don't actually know. There's a lot of questionability about that anyway, because they had, like, no technology to, like, even run. Listen, listen, the PS3 runs the best blood samples. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, there's plenty of PS3s in this game, too. And the one person, there's actually a PlayStation Vita in this game, too. (laughs) <laughs> you really? kill her yeah you kill the chick that has it and then when you try to shoot it oh, it's invincible yeah! it's like as strong as the PSP <laughs> that Craig dropped and like let freeze over for winter and he found it in the spring true story is that real 
Yeah, I had a PSP that uh, was trapped under like six feet of snow, <laughs> and it like came back fine. Just yeah. had to charge it. <laughs> That's badass. Do you still have that? Uh, no. It survived. You didn't keep it. No, Cam Cam had it. Didn't you give it to Joe? I thought you get it to Joe. No, I think I, I think bought it. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Does Joe it still work? It, yeah. yeah. Nice. See, it's indestructible. I'm a survivor. I'm yeah. on a <laughs> and see, I shot the PS Vita in this with the gun. <laughs> And it, it didn't do anything to Dude, it. Dude, I didn't have, I didn't dick around it. Like, I wish I would have like, like, you know, messed around a little bit more. But I was like, it's go time, baby. I'm killing this bitch. <laughs> like that was like my whole, my whole thing. I was like, yeah. Oh, you were there. I'm gonna kill you. But anyway, yeah. So, so the very beginning, um, Ellie wants to track down the people that killed Joel. Um, his brother is like, I gotta fucking go. Yeah, Tommy's um, like, I'm gonna go too. And his yeah, wife and is so, like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, you yeah, two shouldn't be doing this at well, all. Well, yeah, he, he's like, in tr- basically part, uh, in charge of the town, because she's like the mayor or some shit. So he, she's like, no, I don't, you can't go, because like, you have shit to do. Yeah, but since she's a and, woman, we don't actually have to listen to her, and we go anyway. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then he just kind of like, fucks off and leaves anyway, and then she's <laughs> right. like... All right, Ellie, you need to go and like bring him back. Yeah, basically. keep him safe. It's like, sorry, um, uh, Mayor, um, I'm doing this anyway, and you can't stop me. Well, she's like, she goes, do what you, she goes, she goes do what you need to do, but you need to bring him back. Yeah, and she's and like, then, there's horses. If you tell them your name, they'll give you the horses, and you got some like guns. She's like, I can't give yeah. you like a lot of stuff, but I can give you enough to get you on your way. And then, yeah. and then Dina goes with her because uh, they're friends, and then, um. And so then they, you... so they just kind of like leave, and then it's like oh, three months later or whatever till they get to Seattle. Yeah, and in true prophetic nature, Seattle is a shithole in the game as well as in the real life. I made a joke. Oh, that was the other one. It was uh, "Welcome to Chaz." That was the other <laughs> intro I was gonna have. Welcome to Chaz. Yeah, because of that autonomous zone in in uh, Seattle, and I was like, man, this is just Chaz in ten years. Dude. Like this is it's just. Fucking everything went to shit. <laughs> Something like moss growing everywhere. Yeah. All the fucking like buildings are destroyed. <laughs> Drug, you got like warlords and shit. <laughs> it's it's all great. homeless people too. Yeah. yeah. Some just like I didn't. Those, that's just the res- residents of Seattle. When you're I, that cold, everyone looks homeless. Some that I wish to <laughs> God they would have done <laughs> to done differently in the game is with with Dina. I know he wanted to have that whole the whole like oh but she's pregnant. That's gonna throw a thing into like a like a, a wrench into the story, but like I just I want I w- it doesn't make sense to me that she would just leave shit for the girl she just fucked four days ago. I was like, I'll go help you avenge Joel. Like, dude, you're going to no, you're well, not. See, the other you're not is- fucking going to Washington. You're not. You're gonna stay and do your fucking goddamn job. Like what I wanted, I, what I would have thought was better, in my opinion, is if the person that like was your love interest was someone that had been like with you for a bit so so you yeah. had that relationship and it would have cemented to me it would have cemented it more what made me kind of mad with that too is like there's a cut scene th- where uh joel is talking to ellie about how um you know she has like, these two friends jesse and dina you know and so they've like been friends for like four years and then they spend like basically the entire half of like ellie's playthrough like, of just, like, Dina and Ellie playing get to know you like they just started dating bullshit. Yeah. It's like, if they've been friends for four years, they wouldn't know all this shit already. Agreed. And then, like, even if they didn't, they had those three fucking months while they were traveling to Seattle to, like, do that shit. So it's like, this is bullshit. Yeah. There's, like, no chemistry between them at all. It's all just, like, playing get to know you. It's all just lesbian horniness. Well, it's just, like, the very beginning gaze. of... It's, it's just the very beginning of them, like, starting to date. Yeah. So it's just, yeah. like, they're just playing the get to know you game. And, right. like, the whole fucking game. And it's, like... And it makes is, sense for isn't, us. This isn't a yeah. relationship It makes us. sense for us, us because we don't I mean, know Dina. It, it, it makes sense to us, yeah, but it's, like, shit that, like... They you should would, already know, and there's, like, no chemistry because right. of that. Yeah, that's my thing, too, is, like, the, all the dialogue between those two seems forced, and it just doesn't... It's really awkward. Yeah, it's, it's like, awkward. That's it's a good thing. It's like first dating kind of bullshit. If you, like, look at Jesse and her, like, it's very... You, you believe they were friends before, because they have that chemistry, but with Dina, they, she didn't, and it just it threw me off a little bit. Yeah, that that's a good point. I didn't think about that when I was playing because like they were supposed to be friends before, and it's not like you'll know everything about the person, but like you'll know. Pretty some. sure you were gonna know she was Jewish though, because like that yeah. you're Jewish, like. Yeah, it's like look at her. Are you kidding me? No, no. And then <laughs> like, she talks about her family surviving. Look at that the fucking Holocaust. sail. Look at that. Like, okay. yeah. Look at that sail attached to her face. 
<laughs> Come on, people. Have you seen there's a video on there's a video on YouTube right now where there's a girl that looks exactly like Dina and she's watching the game and she's just like freaking the fuck out. Oh, that's funny. It's so funny. She does look like a real person. I mean, they did a good job. Graphics are great. Yeah, the design and graphics are fantastic. Yeah. Um. But so you uh, you trek and go into uh, Seattle. Yeah. Because that's where the you hear the fireflies are at now, or like the remnants. <laughs> yeah. The what's left of them. Yeah. And there's a lot of bullshit before. of like turning on powers so that you can open this. Oh gate. yeah, half of this game is uh, is uh, generator simulator. Yeah, where, where you, you throw to, ropes. You gotta, of... you gotta turn on power <laughs> yeah. just so you can get through this one gate. That, I mean, like, leads you to where you're gonna spend the rest of the game. The first one has puzzles, and that's that's fine. Like it feels like they they d- they dumbed down the puzzles a lot. In this oh, one too. they definitely did. Like the puzzles, like, I, I there's I some know. cool shit for like optional areas. Yeah. Right, no, right, but like their first game had like the the swimming thing where you like you had to move the other character around on like the pallet in the water. Yeah, because Ellie couldn't swim. Uh, and then, <laughs> that's a good scene in this one yeah and, and then like the other one is like there's a bunch of ladders that they use to, as like cooperative shit yeah. like there's a ladder up above so he has to like give Ellie a boost uh, so that she can like push it down so yeah. you can climb up shit like that like cooperative shit that never happens in this game you have like a few partners where you like trade off or you know Jesse randomly shows up and your partners with him for like an hour or land your partners for Abby. with Dina for a while your part yeah and then the like, Mexican with, dude with that I can't Abby, remember his name with like, Abby as with well Man- Manny and Manny. Then, and Lev like there's no cooperative shit at all in this game they're they're just there to be in like an extra gun right. and they're really yeah. shitty about it's, it yeah. oh, Dina bad, fucking yeah. is terrible Len is it Lev or Len Lev Lev for me never missed a goddamn shot with that bow. He fucked shit up. Yeah. Like, every time. Dina, bullshit, shitty shit. For being someone that's supposed to be like, I'm a warrior, I go out and kill zombies. She's a bitch shot. She got me killed so many times by getting in my way. Yeah, or she, like, will be shooting someone that's not trying to kill you. (laughs) It's like, why aren't you helping out your love interest? I just... Yeah, exactly. I consider her my love interest. (laughs) (laughs) So, Uh, yeah, you go to Seattle, um... Seattle's fucked. Yeah, um, as go, per usual. You go to yeah. like this uh, TV station to find out like where the the WLF or whatever. You is hear staying. that there's people there. Yeah, um, if you thought a hundred days of riots, this is like thousand days of riots. <laughs> this is what the city's reduced to. Um, so that you you hear that they're they're staying there, and one of the the like a couple that like was there for killing Joel is staying there. So yeah. you head over there because you, th- well, you you find out that first Tommy, you think Abby's there, you oh, think that yeah. Abby's gonna be there, and so you're gonna go like, there. But then you find out they, they they do shifts, but it's the same it's the same core group because they're all with the WLF. Yeah. So you find out that like uh, oh it's still people that were there, so I can get information from them. So yeah, then you get there, and then you find out Tommy had already been there and totally fucking killed. Yeah. Everyone. Yeah, but then there's also some dead bodies that are like gutted, which is really bizarre to you. And yeah, it's like, well, at it's the because, time, yeah, it's because he was torturing him. No, that was the no, that was the other guys. That was the Elizabeth Warren's followers. Yeah, they do that. Oh, the scars, right? Yeah, right. okay, yeah. Is this before? Um, I can't remember. Pocahontas. Is, is this bef- <laughs> is this before or after your horse gets exploded? Uh, after. Yeah, that that was after I think that was I wasn't expecting that honestly because you get because ca- <laughs> you get captured. That's also where you get like the first hints that Dina is pregnant because like right after that she like starts throwing up a yeah. lot. So you you're like yeah that part I didn't expect that either because you're just chilling and you just you're hopping over stuff like you normally do with your horse and you jump and your horse just explodes. <laughs> yeah, and you just like fall down and they they come and like they jump out and capture you, and that gets you closer to the that's the TV station. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, we have that, and then we're introduced to all these different bad guys. There's, like, different factions that exist, so, like, the Fireflies. Uh, it used Ellie to just doesn't be really run into the Scars at all. That's mostly Abby. You do. You do a little bit. I mean, you do, but, like, Abby's the one. Because isn't there, isn't there like that, the that hole when you're walking through that fucking... It's dark, and you're walking through the, the field in the park, because you're trying to get yeah, through the park. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. That part was fun. Yeah. Um, it pissed me off, but it was fun. <laughs> So then Abby has, or Ellie goes to the hospital because she thinks that uh, Abby is there next. Yeah. Well, you find a place um, to stay in a movie theater. And, and so and you kind of ditch Dina. Yeah, you, so, you ditch Dina. You say you stay here because you're pregnant because that's a huge twist in the game. Because oh, yeah. So they have this fucking huge argument where, like, um, you know, she finds out she's pregnant, but then uh, Dina gets to be more indignant because Ellie has been hiding the fact that she's immune to the spores the whole time. Oh, that's time. right, because her, her face mask cracks. Which, and speak, like, oh, which makes no goddamn sense. Like, 
She's pregnant. She's literally endangering the entire mission. But, oh, I get to be more indignant because you've been hiding shit from me. So the funny part about it, too, is when you ask her, because Deanna says, you know, he's like, are you okay? Like, are you pregnant? And Deanna's like, she's like, how long have you known? And she's like, oh, for like three weeks. <laughs> and Ellie's like, we could have fucking turned around then. And she's like, you wanted to do what you wanted to do. And it's like, bitch, for fuck, give me someone who's a better fighter for one. And you sit your pregnant ass at home. Yeah. Because, like, it just... It... God, dude, Druckmann, man. He just... Yeah. He writes fucking bullshit days of our lives in video games, and it sucks. Yeah. It's fucking stupid. So, yeah, she leaves her there at the um, at the movie theater to, like, go check out the... Um, uh, the hospital. And then she finds out that uh, Abby hasn't been there, or she was there, like, a, a week ago or whatever. Yeah. Um, and so she's got to, like, tries to force the, the one chick to, like, tell her where she is. And she takes off. Uh, yeah, gotta, like, so she her. starts running, and so you have to, like, chase her, and then... This part, okay, real quick, um, this part was, like, fucking... This, this was one of my favorite parts of the games, too. Because you're, like, running, like... It was, like, kind of like Uncharted, where you're, like, pushing, jumping... And dodging through stuff. Um, <laughs> and so, like, as you're, like, running and pushing through stuff, like, you're going, and Dina, or not Dina, the, the chick you're chasing stops and, like, comes to a halt over this, like, crevice that goes down. And she's like, no, 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 no stop, stop, stop. Like, they don't stop running. Don't put, they're, they're, they're down there. And Ellie's like, you're going to tell me what I want to know. And she's like, no, I'm still not doing it. And these guys come with guns behind you. And you fucking run and you tackle her and you throw her off this ledge and you fall down into this area that's mm-hmm. like where all these spores and zombies are. Because Ellie's like, she's like, I don't give a fuck. And just hits her and you, you both fall. Yeah. And that part's fun too. Yeah. And that was pretty sweet. And then that's when like the chick finds out that Ellie is the the girl from the hospital that was going to have the cure, basically. Um, and then Ellie tortures her for the information, leaves her dead. And then uh, escapes. That's the it's actually like where one of them, like the, like, in my opinion, one of the more fun mechanics comes into the game because there's four or five clickers down there, mm-hmm. and as you're going there, you can like, if you shoot things or like, like I would throw like those little like pop grenades or flash grenades that made a sound, and so as soon as you hit someone, like it explodes, they start screaming. All the clickers will go to them and they'll start attacking the other people around you. So you can bait zombies into people yeah that's i used which to, was fun i that didn't was so kill fun. i only killed one person oh no two because really? one the clicker was ripping someone's throat out and i threw a molotov and killed them both huh, nice but yeah i uh i shot what i did is i i know i threw a bottle i threw a bottle and then yeah. the clickers freaked out and killed everybody yeah it's rad it's like they're like the dogs or it's like uh, the kimono dragons in fucking far cry 3 <laughs> like the kimono dragon you'll get one kimono dragon on your team and it'll wipe out like a whole base of dudes <laughs> it's just like fucking yeah. come here and so that's something that i was like before this because this happened like you really don't get an opportunity for that and i was like dude that'd be so fun like i would really dig that i think it's a great idea then they did and i was like fuck yeah yeah i'm using the shit out of this uh one of the points that i wish they would have done um because you're playing as Ellie and when she kills the one chick and she leaves her to die uh, there's a part where you're playing as Abby later and she's going through the hospital and I think it would have been awesome when she left the hospital if she left and found that one girl yeah and I was like that would have made it so cool because then she's like holy shit uh, when Ellie or when uh, Abby's coming back through the hospital like when yeah. she because she doesn't know that the hospital's been attacked yet and she has to come through like the basement and then you fight that one creepy dude that like turns into the like, amalgamation yeah, you, that's that, the, that, that's happened, the, that happened before. Yeah, that's before. I know, I know. I, I think it, but like, I see what you're saying. Gets, like, it would have been a yeah. cool plot point to, like, mix them up. Yeah. Also, the amalgamation being patient zero, like, kind of, like, whatever. But it, it was cool. The, the, the amalgamation looked dope. Yeah, I kind of like it. I like the South Park version better, though. The butters uh, with all the Mexicans what? attached to them. It's oh, the same oh. boss. <laughs> Um, in uh, the South Park Stick of Truth, where it's like oh, Butters yeah. and his cardboard thing with all the Mexican guys tied to him, oh, yeah. <laughs> and you beat him up a little bit, and one of them falls off, and you have to fight that one. <laughs> That's funny. It's the same boss. Uh, you know, this one's scarier. <laughs> The, yeah, this Dude, is this, this, that's this, the he, part of the game where it turns into Resident Evil. Dude, it really yeah. did. Yeah, it, it's a bullet sponge, dude. I was almost out of ammo. I was freaking the fuck. The out. fucking little guy is the bullet sponge. Jesus Christ! Well, the, the big guy too took a lot to kill. Yeah, but the little guy, you don't. You just have to run away from him because if you kill the big one, then you still have you to kill him later. No, like, I had to you, kill him right away. Right, right after I, yeah. he he ran away. I so I killed the big guy first, and he runs away, and you like follow him to the like, yeah. You have to follow. Yeah, you him. follow him to the hospital. Hmm. It's only for like two seconds, though. Yeah, I got two of them because I killed the first one. Cool. 
And then the second one was the douche that I had to chase. Yeah, I didn't kill yeah. the first one. I just I just focused. I was like, if I kill the big one, he'll die. Yeah. It didn't happen. But it looks cool. Like, the design for it is rad as shit. Yeah. Um, but so, yeah, you leave the hospital, and then you... You, you you find out that she's at the aquarium. Yeah. So she go, she goes for the aquarium. And uh, so when she finally gets there, uh, or she goes back to the um, she goes back to the the theater. The theater. But then as she leaves and again, then, she's like, "I'm gonna make my way there." You start hearing when, explosions and like gunshots. Yeah, and she's and like, "Oh, when, it's Tommy." And that's when yeah, like she goes to see if that's Tommy, but it's actually Jesse. Jesse, Jesse made his way up there. Um, and then they have like this whole big thing where like Jesse finds out that Dean is pregnant and a bunch of other shit. And, and so you leave they them find together. Out where they think that, yeah. And then he comes to join you again while you're going to go after the um, aquarium. And he's like, well, we have the chance to go like get Tommy and just get the fuck out of here. Um, and she's like, but she's there. Like, we got to fucking kill her first. And so she's like, you go after Tommy. I'll, I'll take care of this. And then he's like, that's not a great idea, but okay. Yeah, because he's like, we got to go save Tommy. And she's like, well, I'm going to do this. And he's like, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. He's like, you, we need to get him. And she's, he, she's like, no, I'm going to kill Abby, which I was on her side for that. Dude's so like, fuck that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> We're going for it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then so he kind of fucks off to go find uh, Tommy. And then she goes with the accordion. And it goes back to and single then she player. Runs in, yeah. And then she runs into... Um, the leader dude, Mel, and the the one guy that was Abby's ex boyfriend. Yeah, yeah, Dave Rubin. Yeah, <laughs> who like he's kind of. I don't like, remember his yeah. name. <laughs> it's Dave Rubin, isn't it? <laughs> it's pretty what sure, he looks like. It's pretty weird. Sure, it's not his name. But. It's like it's like rapist Rubin. It's like a weird version um, of him because his eyes. He looks like he's gonna fuck you. I mean, that's and not so, that's not a it's exactly what happened. It is true. Yeah. Um, so he does fuck Abby. You. Tr- or so Ellie like points a gun at them and is like, "Hey, fucking tell me where Abby is." Um, and then he's like, and he bum rushes her. Yeah, he tries. So he tries fires. to take the gun from her, and so she kills him. She shoots him in the abdomen, basically on accident. Yeah, and then the, and then the pregnant Mel chick. is like, yeah. oh shit, oh shit, and then she tries to take the gun from her, and then she kills her because and you know there's the, a struggle. The dude's last then, dying words, like, but she's pregnant, and you're like, oh, Druckman did it again no, because he's that's, shit. That's that's not what happened. He does she, too. He says she's no, pregnant. No, she she flips her over and then finds. I'm pretty sure he says stomach. he says no because he says something before he dies. About her being pregnant, and so that's why that's why Ellie flips her over. It's because he says something. I don't He's, remember yeah, that. He says something, and she flips over, and she's like, "What?" And she undoes the jacket, and she's pregnant. And Ellie like freaks out and throws up and shit. And I like, only remember her like. Yeah, he, he's, that she's pregnant because she like flips her over. He, I don't remember. He says him something. Ab- he says something about it to you, and that's why you flip her over. Because he says, something. I thought it was because she was like sitting on the map of like where no, he she says was something. Or something. He says it, so she confirms it. That part was pretty fucked up. I yeah, mean, I'll um, say that was pretty brutal. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I mean, like they brought it on themselves. Like it to be, in all honesty, like Ellie didn't want to kill him. She told him she didn't want to. Yeah, like, I don't she, know. She said she wasn't going to do it. Yeah, she goes, if you tell said, me how to get there, I won't kill you. Yeah, she said. And then I'll he bum rushed her, and they struggled, and he she fired. Yeah, I don't really take Ellie's side in this game, though. I think Ellie's. Well, that's not what you're supposed to do, because Druckmann's like. Hate yeah. everyone. Hate it, all the it, good it paints, characters. It paints Abby in a much better yeah. light than it does yeah. Ellie, and yeah. it's because they totally assassinated Ellie's character. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Um, hundred percent. I don't know about that. No, dude, they did. No, I, if I think you remember the first game at all. You know that she was adversely yeah, she, like affected by violence of any kind. Yeah, she, she didn't. She didn't want to kill anyone. People. That was her whole thing. She didn't want to kill people. Yeah, but she watched her dad basically get killed in front of her. Well, right. Yeah, but, but that but means still. nothing. Well, she then she went crazy. That's the whole point of this game, is that she goes crazy and burns everything down, and then she, at the end... Listen, man, I'm on Ellie's side. Man. At the end, she realizes, wow, that was really stupid. And then the, that's yeah, it Yeah, at the, the not the true well, ending of the game, the bullshit we'll, ending you get later, which we'll, we'll talk, we'll talk about, about that, because there's a lot to talk about. That fucking worthless hour and a half! Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, okay, so, like, after the aquarium, then you go back to uh, the theater... And that's where you meet, meet back up with Jesse and Tommy and Dina. And then all of a sudden, Abby comes in. <laughs> Boom, bitch. Kills everybody. Fucking, yeah, fucking kills oh, Jesse. Yeah, Jesse gets shoot, tapped as soon as he walks through the door. Shoots Tommy in the back of the head. I will remind you of that because I'm going to be bitching about that later. <laughs> and then... uh And then, yeah, she like basically has like, oh, there's going to be this fucking confrontation. And then it's like... And wait. three weeks earlier. Wait, real quick, As real quick. Abby, yeah. So she does kill people in the first game, but she doesn't want to. There's a whole thing yeah. about it. How Joel she, has to talk her into it. 
because they also, didn't. dude, you can't keep defending the shitty ass game, man. You can't. Okay. You can't. I know, I know you're responding to the chat, but so okay, so I love to you. the chat, but um, you can't. The you reason can't. Ellie has to kill people is because she's defending her own life because she's not. Um, yeah, she almost got raped. She's on. Her, she's on her own. Joel is not with her. So she's got to like defend herself and she does get uh, like as almost raped in that part. So she's like heavily traumatized and she hates killing people. Hates it. She is like fucking traumatized in that first if, game. If we've learned multiple th- times because of how brutally Joel kills people. Dude, here's the thing. If we've learned anything from the way the Druckman writes a universe, he doesn't give a shit about what comes before because he'll just change it to make it fit into the new game. We saw that with the hospital scene. We saw it with yeah. Ellie's character. This is what he does. He doesn't give a shit. Well, I don't know about that for the hospital scene. I would, I would say that I don't, I don't think that's true because he makes it so the dude is like, looks, he's like, oh no, I'm not going to do anything, and you just shoot him. That's what it shows in the, the scene. But in the first game, that's not what happens. He lunges at you. He lunges at you with the scalpel. Yeah, that's true. But and I mean, so at fire. the same time, what you have to realize is that you're not in the first game. You killing all the doctors. That's not you as a character. We're not. Uh, this is something that Ingress black dude brought up in the chat and i was like yeah that makes sense because you're not making the game what you make it it's you are experiencing this story and so in the first game yeah. joel does kill the dad you know he is you are going in there with the intent to kill all those fucking people no you're not no i think you are no you're not i think you are no, and you're I not. i'm gonna say no too, it, I did too for the, but it's a choice you Hold on choose twice. what to do so that ending part of the game you don't have to kill anyone at all you can sneak past the soldiers who are looking for you while you're in the restricted area so you don't have to kill them they have nothing against you until you kill that guy uh while you know you're trying to get ellie back yeah that is the only time that they start coming after you is well, when you start killing is when you grab Ellie after having killed the dude who fucking lunges at you with the scalpel. And that's what I'm saying is like he yeah, didn't that part. Joel, Joel is not a great dude. I'm not saying that at all because he totally kills a bunch of people in cold blood. Yeah. And at the very beginning of the game, it sets that up because there's like a family who is calling for help. Like when the zombies start attacking people and he totally was like, nope, fuck him. Yeah. He's like, yeah, we got to go. So Joel is not a great dude. Yeah, but yeah, he right, is yeah. completely in within his rights to kill the dude who had the scalpel. Right. So them trying to make him a super good guy is such utter bullshit. Yeah, and that's my problem is, is like it, they could have like done the same thing and like his like that dude kind of was self defending himself as well. Like I can see it that way because he's like, hey, we need this, whatever. I can see that, but to completely retcon it but, to make another character seem better is absolute horseshit. Yeah, it's Joel, terrible. Joel writing. was not going in with an intent to fucking kill anybody. No, yeah, because you and can the see fact it. that they started coming after him is the reason why he killed the trick who was in charge of the fireflies yeah that and is the sole reason he did that. and the thing is like what i said before like why i'm not gonna hate joel as a character is i chose to destroy like, those people i killed after every him, single person so was like, nope, after me. Yeah. well i think that's what he's supposed to do i think you're supposed to kill all the people that I, can stop you. I, I don't know because it gives you the no, choice you that's what i'm saying yeah, you can, it's, it's and choice. when you have ellie you can't kill anybody so you're supposed to fucking run out of there that's the whole ending of the game it's like you no longer kill anybody after killing that doctor dude that's the only thing that happens in the ending of the game. Because you have Ellie in your arms, you can't kill anybody, so you have to run through while they're trying to fucking kill you. Which, but they're also shooting at her too, which makes no fucking sense anyway, but whatever. So, yeah, so it, it, it's, it's just dumb. Uh, they're, they're retroactively making characters shitty to make yeah. other characters seem better. It's just dumb. I don't mind um, the, making the Doctor not seem bad, but I guess if... You know, but uh, yeah, I mean, like, I don't think he's bad either. I just you feel don't like, have to retcon that part. Yeah, exactly. You can make like they just still... they did unnecessary shit. They could have made Abby like the daughter of the Firefly chick who he kills in the end, and that would have made way more sense to me oh, than trying been, to be like, dude, that'd been sick. Yeah, instead of trying to make like the that's what I thought it was going to be. Yeah, instead like of trying to make it like mother figure. some random doctor dude is like, oh, this huge character who we didn't realize was yeah. a big deal, but whatever. Yeah. Um, cause like, it never mentions that Firefly lady ever again. It never talks about her after he fucking brutally shoots her in the face. Yeah, because Abby only and, wants and, her to be And Ellie was her like dad. friends with her and shit too, so it's like, she didn't ask after that lady? Like, no, they just completely forgot about the chick who's in charge oh, of the Fireflies. That's a good point. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. And they chose to make this other character an actual character when they have a really good character already. But I mean, like, I don't Set mind. Up. I don't. I don't mind Abby. I think Abby's great. Playing as her was Abby, fun. Abby and yeah. I didn't. And her story but, was great. But like, they, yeah, I agree. They could have given a, fam- so, a better, like, a more fair shake to Ellie. 
Because, like, if you're going to make someone look really good, like, like, they try to do with Abby, and she's not. Yeah. She's 100% not. But, like, I get that the story is all about, like, the, like, having rage and, like, being consumed by, like, revenge and how, like, it doesn't benefit everyone. That's great. That's what the story is, and I understand that. But, I mean, like, they could have done it better, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I like how they humanized everybody in this game. I thought that was a good way. No, yeah, exactly. But like, but again, they don't do that with Abby towards Zane. Cause it's like, oh, she's still like, she's like, they make her pay think, really good, and she's not. I think my big problem with that choice is that there's too many people in the game. There there's too many. Is, there's yeah. way too many human enemies. Because if you remember the first game, it was way more intimate because there was like way less uh, human people, so they could do a lot more with it. And there, those people actually show like would shine as characters because there was less of them. Yeah, I would I, I would agree with that. I think there are too many people um, um, in the game. I don't mind the I don't mind the the change with the doctor though. It doesn't really bug me. I don't know why they would though because you could still have him pull the scalpel because I understand why he pulled yeah. the scalpel. That's what I'm like, saying too. Like there was no reason to cut it. Yeah, it was, like, I he, understand. He's like fuck you guys. I'm doing this. Like sh- we're curing this fucking disease. Like back up. You know. Yeah. And I don't uh, mind I don't mind them using him as the character either. I don't I don't mind that at all. It, uh, it just seems weird to me that they would waste another character. Yeah, but she's she, that bitch is dead anyway. So I mean, I mean yeah, so is he, but but like they <laughs> don't ever talk about her again, which just seems weird, you know, since she's like the only black character yeah, in the game. I guess, I guess, yeah. even um, even the only one. And like, <laughs> what sucks? <laughs> like, what really sucks is I had fun with this game, and I really enjoyed a lot of things about it, but the story is just horseshit. Yeah, uh, and that's okay, what so, sucks. So now we have the whole Abby thing to go. Oh, yeah, through. so you're gonna play with Abby, who is honestly the most fun character to play as. In this Which game. Yeah, is, she's awesome. She's the best character. Her to play story as in this game. is kind of really dumb because she has no direction. So this is where like the game completely loses what it's about. Because the entire first part is Ellie, you know, because she wants to go kill Abby. Abby has no desire. She has no direction. She has nothing. Yeah, she's she, just doing missions. You she's know? just doing stuff. She's just but I mean, like, out, but here's the thing, though, because like, drinking she, bull sperm and fucking eating burritos. <laughs> There's yeah. no focus Give for her. Burrito, but here's bro. the thing: why would there be? They killed. Uh, she yeah, killed. Know, she I killed know, Joel. But like, there, like she, there wouldn't be. She completed her mission. I know, but like, that's that's not a great thing to do when you like start a new character. Like halfway through a game, where like you've already reached the cli- possible climax of the game, and then you're like, "All right, start over." And this character is going to have no direction and I, whatsoever. I didn't. Okay, but I didn't like that either. I wish and they would have sprinkled them both out towards. Gets, like, yeah. She only gets an idea of what she wants to do in the last like three hours of right her because she gets hour she gets character growth. That's the only real she character growth there is. It is. It is character growth. She really. does a hundred percent because she goes from like the revenge thing. To not to listening to Lev and like finding this person yeah. that she can help and she wants to make better I'm and not, she wants to be. I'm better. not gonna count turning her entire idealist or like her entire ideals over to something else after she gets butt fucked by her ex boyfriend who has a pregnant girlfriend. Dude. I'm not gonna say that that's good character development. I'm just not. That's, that's, that's that part exactly, of your character development. You're right. That, that's but not, she gets character development at the end, and you can't say she doesn't. You can't say she doesn't because she completely no, changes she, what she was she doing. She completely changes after she gets butt fucked. Bro, sometimes you gotta get fucked. <laughs> Look, sometimes man. you just gotta have sex, and you're no, she that literally, nut, that she post literally, nut clarity hits differently. Dude, she gets fucked, and then she's like, you know what? I hate all my friends. I'm gonna kill them and betray every single she one. She didn't of them. try to kill her friends, though. She didn't kill any oh, of her goddamn friends. No, she did. Yeah. When she's the on ones the, that are. She's on the Scar Island, she kills her boss. She kills all of the yeah, other people her boss that they is know. A cunt. And then the other guys she doesn't that kill come her in. Boss. Yeah, she yeah, does. She does. No, somebody else does. No, she kill. She finishes no, they... him off. Somebody sh- uh, Lev, Lev, Lev Lev shoots him, and she finishes him off. Yeah, but you know she what? She fucking kills him. But and she's, then she's had problems with and him. And then there are other people who are like, "Hey, Abby, is that you?" And then they're like, "Yep." And then she <laughs> fucking kills him. Hey, fuck that man. They're like Abby, and then they come try to butt yeah, fuck they're trying to kill again. you. Yeah, she kills fucking everybody. Is that you? They don't know that. She's a like the, 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 they're against her until she starts killing everybody because she, they're all brainwashed. She, she sees it. She's willing to she betray sees, everything that she stood yeah, for, dude. And it's it makes sense. no reason. It's not no reason because she looks at the scars and she sees what's happening with them, and it's happening and with the WLF. Give, she doesn't. She give a sees fuck. what's happening, so she changes her point of view. She doesn't give a fuck about anybody except for Lev and her sister Yara. That's it. So what? That's good motivation. That's good but, motivation to say, hey, let's get out of here. I'm gonna find the fireflies we're gonna start new we're gonna get away from this shit that's good motivation dude 
right before she gets fucked, like they are talking about how they much they love killing scars. And the beginning of the, of her campaign is her talking with uh, Manny and overhearing a bunch of yeah, other people talking about how they love killing scars. And she does not fucking give a shit. Then she actually and, meets him. And her timeline is only like a couple hours until she meets them. So and then what? she's like, you know what? I'm going to turn over everything I believe in for these two random because kids. Because she actually met and they saved her. They actually actually met him. And she's not just shooting them and killing them while they're shooting. Them. She met yeah. them. She took the time to talk to them and to figure it out. And Lev, no, Lev and Yara dude, didn't have to save her, and they fucking did. They could have let her hang because she was WLF, dude, and they fucking saved two her. Two days is not enough to completely change your worldview. Well, I'm I don't just know. saying that's a bit much. I don't think it changed. I don't know if I if I think it changed her worldview. I just think that oh, it did. I think that she realized, you know, she realized that everyone is fucking terrible. No, she exactly. Felt, she felt guilty for fucking somebody who already had a pregnant girlfriend that's what happened and then she's like you know what i mean I that's your point of view for, on it but i that's... also feel guilty for leaving these two kids in this random place where they can get found by my parents. i mean like i would feel guilty about that too that's, i would feel guilty for happened. ditching the shit out of she me. she it wasn't out of the kindness of her heart it wasn't because she like was like suddenly oh i'm a good person now it's because she's i like, didn't say she was a good person what? though i feel guilty for getting dick I don't that's think that's what happened. I don't think that's it. Yeah, at all. And then she was willing to betray everything she just knows, because of she that. She knows Dave Rubin's actually gay, so she's weirded out by it. She's <laughs> like, is it because I look like a man? Like, what? what is it? That, okay, so that, that sex scene is wonder, very do you awkward. Think she, do you think of he had Of course it's to, awkward. They're talking about how much they want to fucking kill No, the, the whole, people. like, act of them fucking is just well, Yeah, because awkward. they're about to fight, and is then he turns still, her around. And is, she, is she still a virgin by that point? Do you think she I was going to say, I think she was. Do you think he moves her balls out of the way to get to the hole or what? Like, nah, dude, she's got like a 25 pound weight in between. He just like rips it like, no. Ugh, and like curls it and drops yeah. it. Goes out. Everything about that part is super awkward. The sex scene was, feels I agree. Super forced. The sex scene was very unnecessary. It was very awkward and it was forced. There was no reason to put it in there. Yeah. I don't think so. It's, it's just bad. Um, um, yeah, it wasn't done well. Not at all. Not at all. So anyway, she spends most of her shit trying to help out Lev and Yara, and then they decide, oh, we're gonna go to California because that's where we think all the uh, fireflies, fireflies but that's, are. But that's been her motivation the entire time. She no, wants to. Yes, it is. She wants it, to find the fireflies. That's dude, in the goddamn game. It is, yeah. Dude, that's it's, in the game. Do we play the no, same game? Yes, it okay, is. Okay, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> they abandoned that idea when they were going to kill fucking. Um, no, they didn't. Yes, they were. They were like, they, we're going to kill Joel first. And then they were like, well, no, we're, we're not going to do this anymore. We're going back. No, 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 they were going to kill they, Joel is what they decided. Not that we're going to find the Fireflies. Dude, they talked about specifically how they weren't going to go do that anymore. Paul Rubin. Then, Paul Rubin, that's where he's going. And then, yes, because he brings <laughs> it up. And then he's like, you know what? I'm going to go through with this plan. Wrong, wrong prophet. And then she's Dave. like, and then she's like, <laughs> oh, okay, <sorry>. cool. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't her idea. It was his idea. And that's <laughs> why it wasn't her motivation. And she was decided she was going to go. Yeah. And then she fucked so him. So And then she was that? like, is that you motivation? Know what? It would Sounds be, like motivation. And then she fucked him and then was like, you know what? It would be a really bad idea if I like stayed with them because then I'd fuck him all the time. And she, he has a pregnant girlfriend. That's not really what happened. That is she what gets, happened. She, gets, have she awkward, gets yelled at by the she girlfriend. She has an like, awkward you encounter everything. with everything. Yeah. She has an awkward encounter with Mel. And then she's like, okay, well, yeah. I guess I just won't go with you guys. Ever since you left the young Turks are just you're just such an asshole <laughs> young and then and then afterwards then she's like okay well I'm gonna go with Lev then yeah. she goes to find the fireflies which is great that's her motivation later it's not her motivation then I uh I agree with Zach I think he does have she does have motivation thank um, you no and she it's, doesn't you know and I, I don't know it's not the end of the world but I think what she realizes is that and this is kind of one of the themes of the game is like you know that the 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 whole like lone survivor thing like the groups are the, what the problem is it's the uh, it's the group identity and the right. the fighting because of that the tribalism that's really but, bad like I agree with that but at and the then same she thing. she finds those she finds I mean, those scars and she realizes that it is I feel really like that's bad a really, really poor stupid. excuse and idea because the entire idea of the WLF was to take over the entirety of 
Oregon. Yeah, but that's why they're leaving. They're trying to get out. That's what they were doing. That's why they were fighting the scars because they wanted their territory. Oh yeah, they had like they, they weren't. Well, no, they it wasn't there. that. It was they. Yes, they keep, it was. They keep having uh, they keep having these like ceasefires, and then people fuck up on individual. Yeah, so like levels. they shot some kids that were like well, trespassing, their, and then that's what happened. That's their started entire the idea the is to set up Oregon as an entire base for they're in the, Washington. their group or Washington. Yeah. So the, that's their that's their entire goal. Like that's why they keep fighting them, and they hate them. Like you can hear that in the like conversations of people around you. Well, yeah, their leaders. In, 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 like, yeah, dude, their leader is an asshole. I mean, yeah, the WF leader is a massive cunt. But like, there's no way well, so she doesn't Elizabeth know. Warren, though, but she's been there's, dead the whole time. There's no yeah. way so their leader is. There's no way that she doesn't know that that's what their group is about. There's no way she doesn't know that. That's why she started trying to leave. That's that, 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 leave. that isn't why that's she tries why he's to said, leave. That's what the dude says. And that's what their motivation is. Is to leave. They leave because she wants to fucking help out Lev and Yara, and then yeah. she decides that she's not going to go. But they've talked she, about leaving because the WLF. They, they want to find why, the fireflies. That's why he they wants want to leave. Yeah. She was a part she's, of that for a while, though. She a doesn't long time. want. She doesn't want to do that necessarily no, until you're, he's like, "You're right." I kind of want to do this because he. She goes out. She. Her whole motivation is to find him and find out what the fuck happened. Like what. Because yeah. he killed one of their their buddies, yeah, and he she's like he, it had to have been a misunderstanding. I'm gonna go find this guy, and you're right. Once she finds him, she's like, oh yeah, I'm totally down with this. But it's like you know she, he is right. They're trying to do something that's better, and they're trying to get away from the. I mean, yeah, bullshit. but all of her motivation oh. comes from that guy. That's not that's not a terrible thing and that's, though, and that's like near the end of her campaign. Well, no, because in the beginning, it's like, it's like he's like no, not and man. then they because have the, no, and then they because have the they find out that he her, shot yeah. he shot the dude. Yeah, and that's like that's have, not they, the end. That's like the after the first level to her being younger and then like being with that guy and then she's like yeah i'm not gonna fuck you because back when she I was a find girl out, yeah i want to <laughs> yeah. find yeah. out who killed my dad back before her dick grew in her balls but so like, yeah what i guess one of the other plot points we didn't talk about is that that dude her love and her former love interest slash it kind of still is they're hunting him down because he shot one of the dudes with him because the dude was gonna kill a kid or something like that and so he shot him, and so they're all after him. And that's when Abby starts turning from the WLF because, like, the leader's like, "No, we're killing him." And she's like, "He had to have had a good reason." Yeah, there's no reason like why he wouldn't have had a, like to have done that because he's for this, he's down for this. And the guy's like, "No, we're gonna fucking kill him because he's a traitor." And so that's when she starts turning around and like, "No, like that's fucked up. He's done a lot for this compound, like yeah. a shit ton." Um, yeah, and then so fuck, where are we at? <laughs> uh, Abby, um. Honestly, a lot of the Abby <laughs> stuff is just, you know, going through the city. Yeah, well, because, like, you're starting to follow yeah. you're trying and to you get, meet all you're the people. Get, you, you meet some of the named people that, that you killed as Ellie, too. You meet the PSP yeah, chick. You go yeah. to the hospital because sure. you Yara's need pills for arm Yara. is broken. Yeah, and, so, and then, like, then you have to kill the patient zero thing mm -hmm. to, like, escape because the yeah. WF leader like, How fucked up is it to be the Abby one chick back. that got her arm cut off and then she just gets blasted, like, 20 minutes later? <laughs> <laughs> like, she's been fucking... This game just rolls over her at every turn, which is crazy. Um, and that's where we get the the trans character too, because yeah. it's weird and like you almost don't even notice because it's like. So when so Yara, I thought it was a girl the whole time, and it is technically speaking, um, um, biologically female. <laughs> and then like they started talking to her about it, it's like a guy, and I'm like, wait, what? Is that, is that yeah, a boy? Yeah, Lev, Lev, Lev's trans for a boy. Yeah, and yeah. then you realize later. There's like this heresy they committed, and this is why their own people are after yeah. them. The stars like, so because these... she cut her hair off and started to say which that she's is a something boy. that only dudes can do. Yeah, yeah. yeah which cause... it's it's supposed to be like this fundamentalist, and this is one of the reviews I heard, which was like, oh, I'm probably gonna think this game's bullshit because it was like, oh, it's a anti fundamentalist religion, and I'm like, you know, a lot of them are douchebags, but like, I don't know why you got to poke fun. But they actually did it in yeah, pretty good way in did, this yeah, and... because it's kind of like. You know, they, these guys are psychopaths. Yeah. So Lev, so everyone's crazy. So Yar, Lev's Lev's sister Yara is is a considered a, is a warrior. So Yara gets to go and she gets to like hunt and shit, and that's what Lev wants. But they told Lev that he was going to be one of the mothers, and then they're well, going to have to like. They told her that she was going to be like the concubine of one of the leaders, yeah, and who so, was like fifty or some shit. And so Lev, but, but so Lev wanted to be a warrior. That's like yeah. the, his whole motivation thing is he wanted to be a warrior, and that's why he shaved his head. He's like, they, they'll let me go out if I do this, and it didn't. Yeah, yeah. and then and, they became fugitives because they're like they don't like that trans shit. One of, one of the sad like so, things I saw, too, I think too, is when they go back to save the mom, and like Lev's sitting there, and the mom's dead, and like the mom just tried to fuck him up. Yeah, she like, tried to kill him. It's pretty sad. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, so and then they, the black they, they guy that, that, that guy's crazy on that island. Holy the, fucking the boss, god! Yeah, yeah. So they, they, big ass pickaxe. They have to go to the Scar's home base because Which Lev fucked off and like went there to like get their mom because you know they want uh, you know their mom to come with them to California because uh, they think that. You know, she'll go with them. Um, Stupidly, yeah. Yeah, and so but they're I mean, like, when, oh when shit, you're that we gotta, young, I, I get it. I get that motivation behind. We gotta, we gotta like go get them, and then um, uh, that's when Ellie comes in and fucking kills Mel and the uh, the dude. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is when they're like on the island. So yeah, then that's when they, they when they interact. come back, Yara fucking dies in the uh, on the island. Leaving, yeah, because the dude kills um, her. Lev and. Uh, Abby come back and they're like and they find the dead bodies and they're like oh fuck yeah and so and, and so then, yeah. and then she sees the map that has that like where, left, uh, uh, that, Abby, Abby. that Ellie left that shows like where she's staying basically so that's when uh, you go after uh, Ellie as Abby and then yeah. that's when everything and then intersects. that's when like the the thing comes back and then you know it shows the cuts in again where she kills Jesse shoots Tommy in the back of the head and then. They start having like this big fight scene where they she she sneaks around. Like, That's when you play as Ellie again. It switches uh, back to play as Ellie. No, you play as Abby for that part because uh, you have to sneak around uh, Ellie. No, you well, sneak around Abby. Ellie, no, you no, sneak you're around sneaking Ellie. Around is, it, Ellie. Is, it, yeah. is it? Is it? You're Ellie, Abby trying Ellie. to kill Ellie. Oh, that's right. That's the last, last. Okay, sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry, sorry. Ellie sorry. is the boss fight for that, and then Abby beats the fucking shit out of her. Like, the ever-living shit out of her to the point where she should not be alive. Yeah, so she starts hitting her, and then she goes to, like, and she goes to finish it, and then Dina comes behind with a knife and tries to kill yeah. Abby, and then Lev shoots an arrow and takes out Dina. Not to kill her, but, like, goes through her she, shoulder and yeah. drops her. And then, like, Ellie's, like, please, she's, like, you kill me, let her go, she's pregnant, and uh, adds, and Abby's, like, you killed a pregnant lady. Yeah, Abby's, like, good. And she goes to do it, and then uh, Lev is, like, no, stop it, let's just fuck yeah, off. Yeah, we need to leave. She's, like, this yeah. isn't, Lev's, like, no, this isn't, this isn't right. Yeah, and, I mean, Abby, uh, I, uh, this is where I like Abby's character, is because she's, like, you know, don't ever fucking, I don't ever want to see you again. And, like, she's able to just let it go, even though she knows, you know, that all of the harm. Because she that... has good motivation with, like, Well, she doesn't Lev. actually know that uh, Ellie and Tommy have killed everybody. She just knows that, like, Manny died because of Tommy and that... Um... Oh, that was a good fucking scene. Yeah. That was crazy, <laughs> and, yeah. And, and, and you that... know, I didn't realize it was Tommy for, like, a few minutes, and I was like, oh, my God, we're chasing... Dude, it was like, sweet. My... My the main character of the last game's brother who's just killing the shit Dude, out of us. It was great because you're talking to me. He just his fucking face explodes. It was so cool. Yeah. She yeah. Did, so she doesn't know about like the doctor chick or um. The, she she knows that they that that or that, the other group of people that was at the uh, the TV. Station. Well, yeah, but what I'm talking about is that she knows when she's fighting Ellie. She Ellie killed you know her friend, her friends that was pregnant, like her boyfriend, like all of these people, her dog that she you know he spent time with. Well, on missions, she doesn't and stuff. know about that. She so, literally only knows that Tommy killed Manny and that Ellie no, killed the other. She two. knows that Ellie killed her friends. No, she doesn't. Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. They go directly to the theater from the aquarium. Doesn't the doesn't the boy like the boyfriend like say like so their friends have been like getting killed and stuff? I'm pretty sure no, he mentions it. She knows that this is the near the end of the game. She knows that Ellie has killed all of those people because no, she went she back. Doesn't. No, she goes back to the aquarium and she finds it, and that's when she goes to kill Ellie again because yeah, she's that's like, "What I'm saying." She, she saying goes to the aquarium and sees the bodies, and she finds the map, and then she you. goes directly to the theater. Yeah. What I'm saying is, she doesn't know about the doctor lady from the hospital, and she doesn't know about the other yeah, group no, of friends from the, oh, the TV true. station. Yeah, nobody cares about them though. So she only knows that like she, Ellie has killed she, two people. You know what, Tommy has killed I'm Manny. I'm sure, I'm sure There's she... There's three people that she knows that they... I, I would right. say as well she would know... Would know a, not, wouldn't know that they necessarily killed... That it was Ellie that did it, but I'm sure she would have heard about the ones in the TV station because she was still having active... Well, problems. and she knew it so, was... So, like, I think she would have heard about that, but she wouldn't have known that Ellie did it. I think she did know, though, because she when she came there, she found that it was Ellie, and she's like, I told you, like, all you had to do was leave me alone. Like, that part is fucking stupid by i don't the way. think that's part no, stupid okay see so here let me, let me explain why it's stupid first of all this is a group of people that beat the shit out of joel a prominent person in the community of the town of jackson and you know then you have like a witness in ellie and tommy two people who know their faces and what they look like and where they're going they they literally did not expect for them to send a search party out 
They didn't expect somebody to bring, like, anybody after them. They literally did not expect that after they killed somebody in front of yeah, these two well, people it's not... who they obviously cared about this person. Yeah. I can that see... That makes no fucking logical sense to me. And they don't even bother to hide where they're going. They don't bother to, like, hide their tracks. They don't bother to, like, set up tracks. Well, right. All it was about don't was killing do Joel. Any... Yeah, exactly. But and they I don't mean... hide their actions. They I don't know. try to avoid the repercussions of what's obviously going going to happen and if i were which is really dumb when you're trying to tell a story about the cycle of violence like they don't try to prevent that shit at all yeah. that makes no well, fucking sense no, they I, should have killed ellie and they should have killed tommy but they didn't because her boyfriend was like no don't do it well i don't think and i think all it makes, those people are pieces of shit why would they kill ellie though like it just makes sense. To, to not to knack like to take off a witness like they all, didn't have anything against ellie yeah all they as wanted far as they knew joel was the main problem for Everything. And it was. It's true. Yeah, but he, they, they know who he is, and they're, like, they're part of that town. They didn't. Re- they seriously didn't think anyone would follow them. Well, it's not the about two people who know who they Here's are the thing, and though, what they, they look can, like. They can follow them, but they don't. I wouldn't have thought they would have made it through the WLF. A hundred percent. Yeah, I mean, they're, it's... they're just hunters. They're not like. When you look at it, like, Jackson's cool, but Jackson's still a country town compared to the compound that is Well, they Seattle. know where they're leaving. Like, they could have followed them the whole time. They didn't know that. Like, fucking yeah. Tommy goes after him immediately and guns down, like, everybody. And they're only behind him by a couple days. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, the thing is, I get the motivation of both of the characters. Like, if I were her, I would have probably killed Joel, too. It, and if I were happy, I, or if I was uh, Ellie, I would have gone after her, too. Because well, that's what I mean. It's like, it's really dumb of them, especially Abby, to say something like that when you should have expected somebody to come after you. Especially when you leave witnesses alive. Well, I mean, I don't know. Especially I, for somebody that they obviously care about. I didn't think that was dumb. Yeah, I agree. Because for her, from her no, perspective, no. all it was is I got my revenge because he killed my dad. That's all I wanted was just him. I left you live. I wasn't trying That's to kill yeah. everybody. It doesn't and make... now you killed all my friends and not me. Yeah, but she did that out of emotion. She doesn't think that somebody else, when she does something emotionally traumatic, would cause somebody else but to go after her. What? That's Abby's the story. Th- yeah, what? No fucking sense. That That's is the story. A, that no, is it the makes story. No sense. It it's does. like, I did this thing out of emotion. I'm causing some somebody to have the exact same fucking trauma and i don't expect any goddamn person to follow me because of it that's a fucking moronic the fucking thinking the difference is that abby knew that the only person that deserved to die was joel and that's who she yeah. killed and that's it that's that's it. Doesn't, that still doesn't mean anything your neighbors think you're getting divorced that means <laughs> that means that uh she she, she they're really fighting she just said she was pregnant she and had now uh, yeah she had control. She she controlled herself and only killed Joel, and that's why she's pissed. She's like, all you had to do was leave she me the fuck alone. She didn't control herself. The other people told her to fucking stop. She wasn't going to kill Ellie, though. Manny's the yes, one, she was. Manny's the one that said, we should we should kill him, and he was like, no. And, 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 then, it, it and was, then he looked it was, at her. It was he Abby's looked, boyfriend, and yeah. she was like, hey, don't do it. And because she wants and then to he dick him, at Abby. she wants, her to, it, wants him to dick her down, she's like, okay, I'll back off. Then that's what you think the motivation is. That doesn't make it that's right. Because it's, because it's clearly what it is. It's that's why not, there's a forced sex scene, like, punched, I, I, 10 hours into the game. 100%. I don't, I, I don't agree I, with you I, 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 think I, I think it makes sense for her to yell at her like that in this moment i think it does because it's like she's saying look what the fuck man like all i was doing was getting even for this guy killing my dad and you came in and you killed all my fucking friends like what the fuck it was between me and him and now you've made it about everybody i get where she's coming from because it's like you know you can have revenge but you know that's true because like the friends were were working they were complicit because they were there but they weren't the one that swung the golf club they weren't yeah and and she knows they're not the ones that blew joel's leg out and she knows what joel did and she knows why Abby's coming for her, or why Abby came for Joel. And it makes sense. I would kill. I would kill him too if I could. Well, fucking Ellie. Ellie tells fucking Abby about who she is, and then Abby hesitates a little bit because she's like, "Oh shit!" Like that's an "oh shit" moment where she's like, "Oh, so you're you're basically the reason that my dad died." Yeah, and it then is she's a- like, "I don't know what to do here." And then she's like, "Oh, well, you still killed my friend, so well, it's she, like, but she, so but, it's but, okay." But she could have chosen to kill it's her. Fucking when retarded. Manny said, she could have killed her. Yeah. Because the boyfriend says, "What do you want to do?" He gives you the choice, and no, she goes, he "No, doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't." He asked you, "No, he, he, goes, he we, doesn't." Because we should leave. 
And, he's she, and he's like, but whatever. No, the one guy, the Asian guy was the one that was going to kill her. It wasn't Abby. It was the Mexican it, one. It was the, Manny. The, uh, yeah. Oh, was it Manny? Yeah. Yeah. And then they stop him from doing it because he, uh, like, she, like, fucked him well, up a little like, bit He's like, we should just go. That's all he says. And then they're like, okay. And then Abby chooses not to. She could have done it. She 100% could have done it, but she chose not to. It wasn't, wasn't, it wasn't her who chose to leave them alive. That's all I'm saying. I, and it's fucking she stupid. Had, she had the thing, the weapon in her hand. It was 100% her choice. No, it wasn't. And, it was. She didn't have the weapon in her hand. It was fucking it, Manny. So, Manny so, had the gun to her goddamn so, head. So and he sh- said, let's just go. And they were like, all right, pal. That is exactly what fucking happened. I she remember. did not make that choice. She did not have the power she, of life and death. She put the golf club down, so she did have the power of her life and death. And she was the one was running the, the show Dude, in this thing. No, you no. It's fucking stupid. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, she Abby lays down the How far into the, the story are we? We're almost done. Okay. We're almost done. Yeah. There's just but there's some an hour and a half that happens after that's completely <laughs> worthless. To it's the crazy story. weird. It's a, it's it's honestly it has a lot of Red Dead Redemption two and a lot and a decent amount of okay. Death Stranding in it. <laughs> uh, well, this part, you know, she beats the shit out of Abby, or Abby beats the shit out of Ellie, and she's like, I don't ever want to fucking see you again. Yeah, Stop cause, cause coming after me. Yeah. Stop coming after me. Like, end it. This is over. Stop being a stupid bitch. And then, of course, Ellie can't. Uh, but before that, we get the Red Dead Redemption 2 epilogue of Farmhand farm. Abby. <laughs> I yeah. actually really like that level. It I was thought, fine. I thought that, I, to me, that would have been the perfect ending. Thank God it didn't last as long as Red Dead 2's epilogue. Jesus no. Christ. Uh, yeah. But, you know, she's on the farm. The baby's been born. The baby's kind of weird looking and whatever. <laughs> Um, she's a real big <laughs> kind fan. Of weird looking. It's just an Asian looking baby. Yeah, he's huge. He's like monstrous. Yeah, because he's fucking Asian. <laughs> Asian babies are huge. Yeah, but they never get, they, they 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 peak at birth. <laughs> uh, but like, it, yeah. So the baby's weird. I don't know. Something about the baby just bugged me. But so you get so you get a lot of you get a lot of like alone time with the baby where you like take him out and like take him to the tractor and then like herd some sheep up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, you have a horrible flashback. Like PTSD. You get PTSD. Ellie's got hella PTSD. Yeah, and then that PTSD episode prompts her to realize that she can't just... Oh, no, and then... No, because Tommy comes. Yeah, Tommy comes, and he's, like, all fucked up. Yeah, because uh, when he gets shot, it's just see, not in the head. He gets shot in the knee, too. Like, Abby, like, she takes him out see, first. this is the thing him. that makes me fucking angry about this part, is that he got shot in the back of the fucking head. You don't really see it, though. That's what I was like... Yes, you, gotta, you do. It's, like, right here. Yeah, I figured it was, like, the favorite. top of his head, and you can live no, through that. No, it's the back of the head, like, like right where... I'm, like, if with his eye, though, I'm guessing it was, like, because, like, his stitches are, like, right here, so I'm guaranteeing it just went, like, curved, like, through this part of the people skull. People have survived shit, shit like that. There have been people yeah, that have Phineas had, like, Gage, steel bro. rods yeah, rammed Phineas, through their heads. Phineas yeah. Gage, yeah. I mean, Craig, there's it guys, happens. there's a guy that got shot rare, in like a pilot, a co-pilot in World War II, a bullet went through the top of his head and they landed the plane and he lived. He like, he was bleeding like crazy, but like, he, you know, you can survive. I highly doubt that they <laughs> got shot from that close and had, and still lived. <laughs> it's happened. I remember hearing a story from like someone getting robbed in Florida and they like, they straight up just point blank shot this woman in the head. In the back of the lived. head though? I don't know where in the head, but she was in the head. Yeah, if it doesn't blow up your brain, even some parts know. of your it's, even some parts of your brain, if you hit, like you, you don't, it doesn't have to kill you. It's just really I don't know dumb. who the fuck like, saved he get, him. He but gets absolutely fucked. Yeah, like exactly. I don't like, know what he gets doctor absolutely they had on him, fucking but. brutalized. He gets his fucking leg blown apart, and then he gets fucking shot in the back of the head. Like even if he didn't die immediately, there's no way he would have lived through that. Like, they had no medical people around at all. They were all, like, fucking... Dina was pregnant, had a fucking, like... Got stabbed and had a, an arrow through her fucking shoulder. Ellie was basically crippled. Jesse was dead. And fucking Tommy was clearly out of it, if not already dead. No one should have lived. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but some did. And then Tommy shows up, and he's like, Hey, you're going after this... This fucking beefcake bitch, aren't you? Oh, and yeah. Then, He's like, I, f- I uh, paid for some information about this chick who's like a massive beefcake with some young Asian person Yeah, apparently next it's to a him, chick with a dick. Uh, in, in California, so you should go after and her. And then there's a chick... Then there's a chick with not a dick <laughs> with her. So this has to be them. <laughs> well, so like... The most gender-confused people in the world. The with, only two. <laughs> With that uh, too, <laughs> Dina Dina kicks him out, and she's like, "Are you fucking kidding me? Get out of here!" Because like she's like, "Ellie's not going." 
and he he has a fucking temper tantrum and he's like you know what this fucking figures a oh, fuck of course of course you would yeah, do this to you me. fucking lesbos <laughs> you fucking and so this fuck you fucking cripple <laughs> he can't do it himself. shambles out yeah, yeah shambles out and dina goes out and like you hear the voice like she's like are you fucking kidding me she's like never come back here if this is how you're gonna act and yeah. like it gets in ellie's head and so she's like i have to kill her now and then dina gives her a proposition where she's like it's me you, or yeah she's like if you leave i can't do this again like you're if you leave and come back we're gonna be gone yeah, and then uh, so she gives her that like that opportunity, the ultimatum, and then you go, and then this is where uh, this is what angry ass black dude called this guy Fat Geralt. It was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, there's a fucking it's twenty four twenty five Constance. That's the name of the address of the town that you're trying to find where you think she's at. And I was like, dude, that sounds like a fucking either a Dream Theater song or an Iron Maiden song. It's like <laughs> it's just like one of those annoyingly long song titles that like one of those like power metal bands has to have. 24 25 constants it's like the cheesiest fucking thing ever like i can hear it i can hear the like fucking you yeah. know run to the hills run to the 24 25 right after constants. that part you start playing <laughs> as abby again and for like, you, like five seconds yeah for like five seconds until you find <clears throat> like this house uh and then it's got like radio equipment inside so you like contact the fireflies yeah and they're like um, hey yeah. we're alive yeah, and that's the payoff and, for her is like all oh, they are here they're and good the, and then, um, so they leave the house to, like, go find where the fireflies are, and then they get kidnapped by, by the these slavers, um, and then it, like, cuts back to Ellie, like, searching for yeah. them. Yeah. I like Fat the Geralt. most useless That's what he is. <laughs> fucking part ever. It's weird. It's like Red Dead 2 when they go to the island. It's just like that. Yeah, it's so it, weird. It makes no sense. It's, like, so fucking disconnected yeah, from the rest I, of the game. This, like, whole last part of the game I just hated. Yeah, it's, com- I it's completely it. disconnected from the rest of the game. You're right. And then, like, it's so Ellie has to go find out where Abby is. Because, she doesn't have to. She chooses She chooses to, to stupidly. But that's yeah, her well, character. Like it's her character. Bit. So she her like character goes after, is to be a dumb bitch. You're right. <laughs> so she take goes the worst after, option um, every time. Finds, yeah. finds these slaver guys, like describes a- Abby, and then they're like, "Oh yeah, we totally have her. You should." Oh, and then the way and, she and kills then, the one guy because they're like fucking with her, you know, and she gets like gored oh, by one yeah. of the traps, and then this guy's like leaning her towards one of the zombies and he's like oh you want to fuck around huh and then she like fucking brutally murders the guy with the zombie and then blasts fat Geralt (laughs) and then like fat Geralt's like holy shit like holy pussy I wasn't expecting that my god one of these two he's like you can't take a little girl and then they get fucked (laughs) she wrecks and yeah and then he tells her where their base is and like they have Abby and he's like she's like tell me where she fucking is I'm gonna kill this bitch and then they tell her and then, and then she kills she, him anyway. She fucking gets him down, yeah, with the submachine gun, which is crazy. That uh, gun is insane. Yeah, it's great. It is a piece of shit for accuracy, but man, <laughs> when they are close, they get minced. <laughs> yeah, they get minced by that. And then you go to this island where it's like it's like the governor's people from Walking Dead, where they've got zombies chained up, and you can like let them go, and it's like, oh, oh, oh let's fuck them up. And then, of course, when you let the clickers go, I was like, man, this is going to be a bad idea. Yeah, this is a real big stealth part. Yeah. And so you basically, like, sneak through. You find, like, the prison where, like, all the slaves are. And then you, like, release them. But you let them go you and you start resistance. find that Abby isn't there. Um, and then one of the prisoners is like, oh, she was taken to the, the beach. We're trying to escape again. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so you, like, go to the beach. I like the find... quick. I like the resistance part. There. I liked how, like, as you're leaving that, you just hear, like, all these, like, side runners are like, oh, they're fucking... And they just get wrecked. <laughs> yeah. Like, the whole compound's on fire. You're just like, Fuck Did you guys yeah. let go the, like, release the zombie chains? Oh, yeah, all the time. No, Did I you didn't. do the clickers? Yeah. Bad idea. It was. Because they, started, bad they idea. started climbing. And I was like... Ah! I'm like trying to you, gun them down. You know what I did? I sprinted and I drew them into the enemies. And they, was, they, they, they like dispersed from me. Like it was me and then those two fucking right on my ass. And then like <laughs> one of the other guys is like, huh? Who's that? And then the clicker just fucking lays him out. And I was like, yes. So in the, the courtyard area, <laughs> I stealth. So I stabbed one guy and I stealth up onto the roof and I shot the chains. Oh, and so, nice. Yeah, so I'm hiding on the roof and they're like, I heard gunshots. And it's like, <laughs> and it's like, get him. And I'm like, oh, yeah. fuck. There's a lot of guys there. But if you don't do like it, but if you sit there and wait and the zombies don't see anyone, they'll start like exploring. And like the AI like knows where you are at all times. So the zombies will start climbing up and like, fuck. So I'd like shoot them off and be like, yeah. So I'd throw sound and make them chase other people again. I let the clickers go and they immediately turned around and chased me. I was like, (laughs) oh shit. (laughs) No, 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 no. I was like, I know this is the worst idea ever. And then I let them go and then they just fucking like, 
turned to me and then I jumped up and I just sprinted and like I was like, please chase these other guys. Please. <laughs> please. I can't kill you. You're too strong. Oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> but yeah, you, you fight there, um, you you kill all of these fucking guys, and these guys are like it's kind of a lazy thing where they're like, oh, they're kind of sadistic because they're like chaining the zombies up and it's weird. I think they would have been a fun well, they enemy were to like chaining them up so that they could make the slaves fight them or some shit. Like, yeah, 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 yeah it's say weird. Something like that. Yeah, I mean, they had like fighting pits. Kind of, some they're kind. like, aren't these people terrible? And you're like, well, everybody's terrible. Well, I mean, they're in this also world. slavers, so yeah, they're kind of shitty. Yeah, they're, they're, like, like, they're like, yeah, they're like top tier because they're, yeah. yeah, they're slavers. But at the same time, I'm like, you know, you're still killing all these survivors. Which is interesting because like I never thought it like. Thinking like with the other groups, I because you don't see like anyone be slavers, but, like it makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense that you like band together with your little biker gang, and then just like when people come in, you fuck them up. And yeah, I mean, Walking your... Dead has a lot of that too. Where there's that yeah. one Alexandria where they like fucking eat people, dude. They yeah. like lure people in, and they're like, "All right, well, you guys are too new, so we're gonna eat you." Um, it's kind of like that. There's, that's what this turns into, they're and not... then <laughs> and then you go to the beach, which is like it, it's so bizarre, and yeah, you know, it's this weird, surreal thing, and it's, it's so the fucked. this like, is the ending of Death, Death Stranding. It really is. Yeah, it's the it totally same thing. Is. Like everybody's in the T pose because they're up on their fucking cross, and then she's got to like let them down. So what's fun is they, they and then with that one is they they fake you out. So you go to a, I went to a different girl because I was like, oh Abby, like that's the, she like like she had a ponytail like that. Yeah. So the first girl I went to, like I was like, oh that's Abby. It, because she's like a bigger built chick it wasn't her and they make you like turn around and it's like the shock reveal of like what abby looks like now yeah she's all like deranged yeah, she, well, she's skinny. wasted away and like cut all her hair off like she's not strong and she's like her muscles are like gone yeah but if you don't kill her or if you don't fight back she will kick your ass in that fight because oh, yeah. i was like i don't want to do it and then she fucking like rips me to pieces yeah. i'm like oh so, my god <laughs> so you I cut her to... down and then you just kind of watch as yeah. abby cuts down lev and then you're, you you because you're still and then you you're, watch her you're like, still hurt aren't you i think ellie's like still hurt from the fight before Kind of, yeah. Because that's because um, you cut her down. And you're like holding your side because you're still bleeding. And she's then, trying to and decide so she if just she wants like, to continue. Yeah, yeah, she like watches her like put Lev on the boat and then she's like, oh, about I hated to cut this it. And part. Then, and then Ellie's like, no, I got to kill you now. Well, because she has another PTSD thing. When she's going to the yeah. ship, she hears a noise and it goes back and she's like, turn around. And you're like, oh my God. Yeah, I, I was so mad at Ellie at that moment. Yeah, I was dude, like, just fucking so let it fucking go. Unnecessary. And so they have this big ass fight in waist deep dark water where the sky is also dark and it looks exactly like the fucking ending of Death Stranding. I and didn't play Death like Stranding. like a boxing match, like exactly awesome. like the ending of Death Stranding. It's not as cool as the Death Stranding. No, it's one, not. <laughs> that but one was exa- like when I played that part, I was like, oh my god, it went from Red Dead Redemption to fucking Death Stranding. See, it and really I, does. And I guarantee. So like the ending that wasn't supposed to be the ending. The ending was spoiled, so Druckmann went back in and they redid the ending. I like their this ending better than the original one. What was I, the, do. I don't even know the original one. The original one is that she kills Abby. Yeah. Oh. I think that's a she shitty was, ending. She was supposed to kill And that's yeah, what I thought I you guys were talking about when you guys were like, oh, I like that ending more. I was like, fuck that ending. That ending sucks. Yeah, I know. I never knew what the original is. The only one I think is the original ending is that don't fucking come after me anymore. We're done. The next time I see you, I will kill you. Don't follow me goes to the the farm and ellie's like hey like i can't have a normal life if i choose to have it that's what i wanted the ending to be that ending would have been fucking perfect and it would have been like hey we both had a revenge thing but we both have learned from this yeah we can be the change see that ending i can like i can like that but i i I like the ending that they gave us anyway i do uh so she's about to kill abby she's like drowning abby and i'm like pissed i'm like dude don't fucking kill abby this is ridiculous (laughs) She bites your fucking fingers off. Yeah, yeah. And then she realizes that, you know what? She's given up all her whole life. She's just wasted. Because all of these things, like everything that she's done, it's all been based on revenge. And now she's lost all of these people because she can't fucking let it go. And then this is where I think it is a great ending. Um, even though it's not the best ending. Where she realizes, you know what? I've given up everything for this. This is stupid. And then she lets it go. She lets she Abby go. She has a flashback of Joel playing the guitar. And it's great. And that's why she stops, which is absolutely fucking stupid. Stupid. No, I don't think it is Dude, because the if Joel if the reason, is a fucking monster. Yes, and yes. he would brutally and look, murder and look what anyone. It got him. Look what right. it got him, and that's what it she realizes. Yeah, that's and, what this ending that's is. That's not what she realizes. No. She realizes it, she remembers him fondly. You don't remember someone fondly in a moment do. where you're brutally murdering somebody. You do because who got murder who no. got killed because he killed some random Here, other guy. So here's the reason why it, you do, and it fits and it works, is because. The whole point with her and Joel was that she hadn't forgiven Joel yet. And then she remembered that fact. She remembered that 
you know, I, and this is the I don't this think is the, that's true. This I, think is the, you're, the, I think you're reading too deep into I it. I think this is what the very, very ending is. Maybe not right here. Maybe she remembers that, like, forgiveness is good because she does end up forgiving Joel, but she doesn't yet. yet. So she, she has the flashback of Joel with the guitar, and then she realizes, oh, this is stupid. I've given up all of this stuff. Like, I've been wasting all of this, and it's dumb. And then she, she lets her she go. She could have started a family with Dina. She could have been happy. Yeah. She and she knows it's over. She knows it's done. And then she realizes what she's given up. And then she lets she lets I her go. I don't think that's true either, because when she goes back, she does go back there. Like, if she had realized that, like, there was going to be nothing. But it's the hope. Well, she she has, has to go yeah, back. Yeah, it's the hope. It's the hope that maybe it's not. And then this <sighs> is where I think the ending is really good, actually. It, when she goes back, so so she lets her go. Um, Abby l- goes, and her and Lev, you know, go off and do whatever they're doing. And then she goes back home, and you go to the farm, and the farm's completely empty. Everyone's gone. And uh, she goes up, and she <laughs> plays her guitar for a minute. And then... You know, you get the flashback of her and Joel finally coming to terms with each other. And I think this is what makes this a good ending is because that's what she just did, too. She realized that all of this, like, revenge and all of this other bullshit was stupid and she needed to forgive Joel and she needed to forgive Abby. And I think she does. And then she, you know, walks away. And, she, and then it's she, over. She had to lose everything to do it. Too. She did. Yeah. It's one she of those. Lost, and she lost. She can't play guitar anymore. It's a, it's she a, lost everything. Yeah. It's a, It's one of those things where you. I mean, she's you, 18 years old. She you didn't s- lose everything. You self-destruct. She did. She had a family. She gave it up. She had a guitar that. hand. Yeah. She, <laughs> yeah. she, the only thing, the only thing she had left to Joel. She's still was something 18. that he taught. She still has That's her not entire an life ahead of her. That's she not an still excuse. has she still has That's, uh, you're Tommy. Right, you're right. She still has the opportunity to go she find Tommy. She still Dina has Tommy. I wouldn't because, want Tommy. He's a fucking be, con after that. Well, he's still basically her uncle, and yeah, he was fucking crazy, but she went fucking crazy too. Yeah. They were the same together. She still has um p- partly family. And you know what? And her and her his hus or her God damn it. His wife she is, left is, him. Is, is, she left him. No, she didn't. Yes, she did. No, she fucking she didn't. She leaves him. No, she didn't. He does because he talks about living alone. No, he doesn't. She leaves him. No, he doesn't. Do you I remember think, that shit? Because I, I fucking she, don't. I think she, she does leave She him, leaves yeah. him. He talks about it because that's why he's so he's obsessed with this. Yeah. She leaves him. And that's one of the things that it's like yeah. Ellie still chooses to do that. She ends yeah. up just like okay, him. Well, alone and so, sad and crippled. But she doesn't the in the thing end, though, is, I don't think. She has fucking PTSD, something that obviously has been affecting her for a while, and Dina doesn't give a shit about it. That's obviously, not true. She holds yes, her and, like, she cuddles does. her. She, she fucking says, you know what? If you go do this, then I'm going to fucking leave you. Even yeah, though she knows that she's fucking everyone's traumatized. Everyone's an asshole. Everybody. Well, no, here's the thing. So you're gonna, she's fucking traumatized by it. She doesn't try. Killing someone's not going to your PTSD well, away. No, no I'm, what I'm saying is she doesn't try to do anything other than, like, say, hey, you know what? She if you just do gives this, an ultimatum. Um, yeah, she just gives yeah. an ultimatum. She doesn't try to understand. She doesn't try to stop her in any meaningful way. She's just like, you know what? If you go do this, then it's over. But I, I, I understand it's, that ultimatum it's fucking, too. I it's understand fucking it. 100%. bullshit. Not really. Yes, because, it is. Because Dina's to the point where she's like, I have a family. I have a son now. Yeah. So you're she, supposed to be the mom of two, and you're choosing right, not well, to do it. Well, you know what? It. If you go, if you go read the fucking journals that like Ellie has been keeping the whole time, you know that she's fucking traumatized by the whole goddamn event. Cool. Yeah, she is. And, that's the thing and, that's, and, that's and living accurate. through the whole thing, she's like, you know, what? I can't stop thinking about it. I well, can't stop thinking about it. I can't stop thinking but about it. Ellie's not actively getting help. That's literally in every. She can't get help. They're in a fucking post apartment. World. You don't think there's Where's no- she gonna get a therapist? Look, Dave you don't Rubin, think gonna talk to anyone in Jackson? Dave Rubin was a therapist no, and she it, killed it, him. It's absolute <laughs> bullshit. Like that's a, that's a stupid idea. And the one person who should be helping her, Dina, is like instead of trying to help her. Have you ever all she says is like PTSD, all she, you know, like all she says is like, you know what? If you go do this, I'm gonna fucking leave you. She doesn't fucking try to do anything else. It's literally just for bullshit more story that they can throw another hour and a half on, and that's absolutely shit all right it makes no goddamn sense and they abuse like fucking fucking mental disorders like that all throughout this game like fucking abby has the same shit she's she's traumatized by finding her own her dad's body and you like, go through that shit like three times and, and during her playthrough and then at the very end of the game it means fucking nothing to her like she doesn't have any more of that shit like she's just like you know what it's fine like whatever you know I already killed Joel I mean I already killed Joel so it's like whatever you know I can be yeah. happy now well it's, it's like okay so you're not traumatized but anymore she told that makes that no too. fucking sense well I think I think Abby's ending makes more sense than Ellie's in a way because Abby you know she got what she wanted 
and then Abby that's, doesn't even really have an ending. They just like have her and Lev on a boat. Like a, I think her her character stupid. ending is her beating the shit out of Ellie and then saying, "Don't ever fucking come to me again, or I'll kill you." <laughs> and then like you know, it's, I, yeah, I, it's choosing to grow. She chose to she chose to give up the revenge, even though even though Abby friends had just been killed by this psychotic bitch that won't leave her alone after she killed off the guy that killed her dad it's like i get it everyone i get everyone's perspective that's why this game that's why i think the story is actually pretty good it's because even though i hate some of the shit that they do they all do stupid terrible things i understand why they all did it i understand why (laughs) why abby killed joel because her dad was murdered by him i understand why ellie went to kill abby clear (laughs) because ellie wanted to avenge joel i understand why dina left Ellie, because because it she makes said, no sense. Don't and fucking for plot, do this. It does make sense. Why would you want to wait there for someone who's going to tr- actively trying to get herself killed? Why would you not even try to stop them? And you've seen that bitch. She's going to fuck her up. She <laughs> fucked her up hard last time. She almost killed her <laughs> with her bare hands. She's got those fucking cinder block fists, bro. Yeah, she's a man. Truckosaurus is going to fuck her up. She's a dude. Of course she doesn't want her to go. She knows what's going to happen. You know what? She can even go find... <laughs> I mean, it, she can go find Dina. she found there's, the fireflies. It doesn't actively tell you. There, there's no reason that she can't just go find her. That, 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 and that's another stupid thing. It's like, she she's fucking 18 years old. She still has her entire life ahead of her. Right. She can go find her. That's what and, the and ending where the is. Fuck, where the fuck is Dina going to go? Huh? She back, has a fucking baby. Where the Jackson. fuck is she going to go? Obviously, she's going to go back to Jackson. But because and, and, then, and then, you know, Ellie can go there, too. There's literally now, nothing I, I don't stopping think, her you, she from trying she, to be like, hey, Ellie, you know, I gave this up, and I, I don't want to try this. No, Fuck I, that shit. Ellie chose. Ellie chose the bad decision. And she knows that, yeah. 100%. And that's when she walks away. She's leaving. She's out of the... She's out. No, that's a fucking stupid ending, and it makes no goddamn sense. I don't, I, I don't but, think it's stupid. What would you give the story out of 10? I don't think it's stupid because I think she realized that she... <laughs> That everything was based on <laughs> everything was based on revenge, and that was dumb. And so when she walks away, and we get that scene of her like, and this is where I think the ending is really actually pretty awesome. It wasn't just based on revenge; it was also based on fucking trauma. That's the whole thing. Like, <sighs> you don't even get to see like the fact that she has PTSD until the fucking ending of the game. But it's clearly there the whole time. Yeah, that's something that's clearly motivating her, and nobody gives a fucking but shit. I think, and throughout the entire game, both Dina, Jesse, and Tommy are like, "Hey, you should fucking do this." Right, but the here's... entire fucking time. But and then Dina does a one eighty on her. Is like, no. Don't go do this. It's fucking stupid. Well, I think, the, I think they, all your they're anger... Pushing her, they're pushing her to do this the whole time while she's traumatized, and then suddenly they're all flipping on her and being like, hey, don't actually go do this. I, don't get revenge for your friend Jesse, who is only in the game for like 20 minutes. Don't fucking do all this other shit for because Abby's a fucking cunt. Like, it, 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 don't, they don't do anything. Whoa. They don't even mourn Jesse, the father of Dina's fucking child. They yeah. By the way, the relationship is she's gay now. Meaning. She doesn't they're, have to. The relationship but they, but is they go to his parents. They talk about anyway his all the time. Because Jesse fucking broke up. They broke up like a week before they started fucking. Like, what the fuck? I think all of this your anger is, stems from the sniper scene when you couldn't make it past. Here's why. Here's it's why. It's all poor writing. It's fucking not. Like, there's no focus whatsoever. They fucking, like, slow Slow down the entire game halfway through to like reboot the story. I did it. I think true. that was annoying. It, it, it's it, it's ridiculous from a gameplay standpoint, and it's ridiculous in a fucking like storytelling standpoint. The reason because so, and, and then the fucking character of Ellie, you know, she hates violence, and then she turns to it hardcore. And then you know, there's that whole idea of ludo narrative dissonance, which is basically like gameplay conflicting with the story, which is exactly what fucking happens. Like she kills people by the thousands in this fucking game, because there's like only ten zombies in the whole goddamn game. Because now you're fighting human enemies sure the entire. More time and then fact checked and, and, the, <laughs> and, and so you're basically like playing a character who's now a mass fucking murderer for no goddamn so reason. wait real quick right. so like the idea of intimate revenge creates like more violence is now meaningless because she's killed a thousand people instead of it being like the intimate killing of like 10 people who are close together craig what do you give it out of 10 i give it at, like a three all the right. story is absolute dog shit. All right, here's... I, I think the ending works, and this is why. I think the PTSD is linked largely to the fact that she never forgave Joel. And that was a big part of it. If you if you watch those final cutscenes, you know, it's her 
it's her coming to terms with the fact that she never actually forgave him. And yeah, exactly. Not only to him. That part's fucking her up. I think that's a lot of what the PTSD is, but also in her own heart. And I think at the end of the game, that's what she does. Because we get that cut scene where Joel is like, hey, I want to make this work. I want to make up to you. I want to make us, you know, I want to be there for you. I want, you know, I want this to work out. And I'm sorry about what I did. And like, you know, I'm fine that you're a butch lesbo. I don't care. <laughs> Well, like, he didn't have the problem with it. I oh, wasn't going to fuck oh, you anyway, so I don't yeah. care if you're a lesbian. What, so we find out, too, why, <laughs> like, why Ellie's... Doesn't matter to me. Why Ellie's mad at Joel, and it's because, like, one of the dudes calls her a dyke. Yeah. And um, Joel f- nails him in the face, and then it embarrasses Ellie, where she's like, dude, what are you doing? And, like, he's like, oh, sorry, like, whatever. And so he gives her a space, and so it's, like, a whole misunderstanding. That was just, like... He didn't Ellie realize she was gay, yeah, and then he's, like, fine with it. And I think the ending, I think her walking away is her finally accepting... And forgiving Joel for what he did. And I think that's why she's able to continue on. I don't think she goes back to Jackson. I think she's done because she knows she burned all those bridges. And she knows it was a stupid idea. But I do think that final scene where it's a flashback with Joel is her forgiving Joel in her heart. And I think that's where a lot of the PTSD comes from because she was never actually able to forgive him to his face. Right. And she saw him be murdered in front of her when she was coming around to the idea of forgiving yeah, the Yeah, of wanting guy. to do it, yep. Yeah, so I that's, would agree with that 100%. And I think that's what caused the whole spiraling out of control and then all the massacring and the not know, listening man. to her She should have just committed to it. That's what I think. <sighs> that's what Skull said, too. I, I, chat. I mean, like, it, it would have made way more sense if she had just but done that and, that like, have... gone and gone over the edge. But, but the then reason... who's the villain for the third game, Lev? Like, there's, not just, gonna, it's there's just... no reason for a third game. There, there wasn't, wasn't a reason, reason for two. Yeah, there yeah. wasn't a reason yeah. for a second they're, they're game. They're going to do it. And that's why, like, at the beginning of the, the thing I said, I wasn't going to play. I didn't have any intention of playing this game was because I don't think there should have been a sequel. There should Number have been. one's great. And it, they did it, though. And yeah. that's the thing is they did it, and they're probably going to do a third because it is left open-ended. I think it works for the sequel. But I, I said the same thing. I was like, it really doesn't need another game. No, no but it, it doesn't. Need a second one. That's if the they were going to make another game, they should have just made it about another character who had nothing to do with like, just been, Joel. If it would have been just, just about If it was Abby. just in the same world, it yeah. would have been fine. That's what I Yeah, that's what I thought, too. I'd like to be in different countries. Like, I think it'd be cool to see, like, how... Like the UK or like in Europe in general, yeah. South America. It'd be cool to see how everyone else, because like South America could be dope in like the rainforest shit. That could be way fun. <laughs> I don't think <laughs> they're gonna do that. Like but... fucking fungicide tigers and shit. Yeah, because the part of it that works, be sweet, that makes it work is the characters. So I don't think they would do that. That would be cool though to explore the world, but I don't think they ever will. <laughs> And I was saying, like, a prequel yeah, and, and would the, be what they should do. I think it's the character intimacy that made the first game work super well. Because it was literally just two characters the entire time with, like, a brief, like, meeting of other characters. Yeah. And so you got to really know Ellie and Joel. And that does not happen at all in this game, except for, like, the little bit that you get of, like, Abby and Lev. Which was truly the best part of the game. Their relationship was because fantastic, their, 100%. And that's, you know their relationship was the best part of the game. Like they actually had genuinely like genuine chemistry as like, you know, almost family members. Like, you know, she, she was like the little brother, the little sister, whatever. And then, you know, it just worked. <laughs> but like the other characters, no, they, they don't have any chemistry at all. Like, I mean, fucking, uh, Ellie had way more chemistry with Jesse than like Jesse did with any other character or even she had with Dina. Like it doesn't, and they were supposed to be, dating basically like it just didn't really mesh at all yeah and same with like the chick that was supposed to be abby's ex-boyfriend there was like no chemistry there at all she had way more with manny like it, it just like none of their relationships made any sense and you didn't spend enough time with any of the characters for you to really care about any of them so you would give the story a three yeah because it's fucking too much what would you give the story it's trying to tell an intimate story with way too many characters i'm gonna give it an an eight I think it's pretty good. There are a couple things that I don't like, and I do think it is a little too Days of Our Lives-y. But there's a lot of stuff on the back end that I thought was really cool. Some of the notes I put down, um, I like the world building via the little notes and the events. Um, and it was cool because they had thematically connected areas with the things that happened to people. So you would like find a little superhero uh, card, and it would have like a power that was like... It was like relative to what the area was like. Like there would be ones where it almost seemed really like story stuff. Though. Yeah, but it, it, it builds the world out. It builds the tragedy yeah, of the world. There's not really anything else you could put in there though. Like that doesn't really fit in any of the category. Because it's I like that, that same shit was in the first one. There was like a and, lot yeah, of like, but it's still notes. Cool. Yeah, the first game's a ten on story. 
Mm-hmm. Like so, it, but there's like you know, it's like a superpower, and like the tragedy of it is, is that superpower would have you know, they, if they had that superpower, they would have escaped this exact situation when you find the card and when you find the notes. And there's so many misunderstandings in there. Like there's one part where the part where you go to the bench and you get attacked. Like those guys that are attacking you, they think you're part of another group. They think you're the wolves coming back to bring them back to the wolves. So there's a lot, a lot of tragedy in this world, and you have to kill them because they're trying to fucking kill you. But like it's just a huge misunderstanding. It's, it's all it's all survival. And, you, you're out to survive, and that's it. Yeah, and these people, you find a note where they're like, "Oh man, I think they're coming for us. They got one of our guys. Like we're so we're like terrified they're gonna come get us." And then you break in, and then they start attacking you, thinking you're a wolf, like trying to bring them to justice, and you. Oh, kill that's them. right. I forgot about that's in the building, huh? Yeah, it's in that one house, and uh, there's a lot of that that goes on. Um, I think it's great that they the humanization of Abby and the stuff with her dad. I thought that was all good. Um, I thought it was stupid that they the, had the, the... The humanization of her dad was really fucking dumb. Yeah, I, I think the, the retconning the, the, of the... Saving the, the zebra thing as, like, the ultimate, oh, he's a super nice guy, he'll do save anything the, for every... Save the zebra moment, save the <laughs> cat moment. Yeah, like, it, it, it's blatantly what it is, and they spoon-feed it to you, yeah. and it's not... It doesn't make anything there, better. And, there was, and, of course, they retconned it to be like, oh, he was just like some innocent guy who just Yeah, that's bullshit. And that's one of the reasons why I took points off. That and I think it's a little bit too dramatized. Uh, like he, like Zach was saying, it's like a Days of Our Lives thing. And I, that, there's a little too much of that. Yeah. Uh, one of the other things that I liked Agreed. was... I thought it was bullshit that Mel was all pissy when Abby was like, hey, you know, is your the father of your baby upset at you for going out on this mission and she's like what do you mean i do what i want it's like oh, bitch yeah. don't like, fucking he, give me that he goes out she's, all the time yeah she's a fucking it's like, pregnant, pregnant lady you stupid bitch and, and she's like, going the and she's going about? into the front lines of combat yeah, that she's makes like, no god yeah. and, and she's a medic which means that she's even more important exactly that's exactly she's going out I would, and fighting i would think that she would be yeah. inside it's because like, this, like you want them to learn more skills because obviously i mean she knows to do surgery and shit but why wouldn't you keep them inside to do that yeah it's bullshit it's like this my body my choice bullshit that this game pulls with the pregnant chick and i'm like fuck off no i don't fucking think so like oh well why would it be up to him it's like well i don't know because you're like seven months pregnant you dumbass yeah like, she's really pregnant maybe he was part of that maybe maybe just, he's like hey i don't know, know maybe you should stay home you know what they're like that you would have lived maybe all that aside she's useless if she's pregnant she's not gonna move as fast she's gonna she can't climb like she's you know there's things that like prohibit yeah, you, like range of motion. Like she was a detriment to their mission. Yeah, exactly. Because she couldn't, she can do. But then you, you bring pregnant. it up, and it's like, oh, you're walking on fucking eggshells. And, and then I thought it was funny. Everybody got their museum day, their day at the museum. Yeah, dude, that was that was one of the one of my favorite parts. Like, yeah, with Ellie. Ellie. Yeah, so that was great. Good. But I thought it was funny that then she has one too. Uh, yeah. The other chance, yeah. it's like, oh, museum time! Don't you love the museums? It's like, well, I do, but. <laughs> it's hilarious that they both got their day at Let the museum. Let me show you the seal in the aquarium. The dinosaur one was my favorite. Yeah. Uh, the aquarium scene I thought was extremely well done. Um, lots of sad moments with like dead families and shit like that. Like the, the game. Oh, yeah. Like finding like, the whole family. thing. Yeah. like, if you were more of a man, then mom wouldn't be dead. Yeah. I'm going to go be a man. It's like, holy shit. Yeah. This kid like leaves his dad. And takes his brother. And takes his brother. And like, it, there's all these just tragedies in the world. And I think the world is built out better than the actual story of the game is, which is kind of yeah. why it's not a perfect story to me. Um, but like, the setting is so well done that I'm willing to overlook some of the bullshit that the story had. And that's why I give it such a high score. Cause like, it's, you could really feel it. You can feel the, the sadness of this world. You know, you've got like, little kids like drawings and stuff like that of like you know their family and then you read these notes about how like they all got split up because of stupid shit and it's like it's really tragedy a real tragedy and it really flushes out the world i do think there's more they could have done with it this game could have been the perfect game and i think they fucked it up with the story um in multiple ways i I do like the ending and i think the ending is better than the original ending of her just killing her yeah uh, because it doesn't change anything. If she kills her, then she goes back and her wife's still gone. And she, you know, all she did was satiate her rage and then not get rewarded for it. So I think I think it has a, a good theme of, you know, so there's there's a time where you need to let go and where, where you not, need to not be consumed by hatred or you're going to lose everything. And that's exactly what happened. Um, so I, I liked a lot of that. And I think the world is extremely well built. Um, and I liked... I liked all of the... Uh, I liked all of the the building of it, and it, it's weirdly Red Dead too, though at the end, especially at the end, because like, you know, it, it's more like 
the you know the dude dying on the fucking cliffs and he's like oh fuck and then like you go and you like get the guy who got him like it's the same thing like you go get the girl who got the guy and it's red dead redemption 2 and then it's fucking and then it's uh the final boss fight in uh death stranding death, death stranding, death stranding yeah. where you beat the shit out of him and then you leave him and then he kills I himself. Thought that was really fucking dumb, dude. I was like, dude, <laughs> I can't believe this game went from Red Dead Two to being Death Stranding. And it like, does. It's so it weird. It copies the ending of both of those games to a T. That I'm just like, ooh. Yeah, but both of those couldn't, games couldn't have better. Come up endings. with your own <laughs> fucking ending. <laughs> yeah, you took two big ass PS4 endings and you just said mine. <laughs> did Basically, Zach, did Zach say his score? No, no, he hasn't yet. But that's the justification for me. Um, also, I thought the wind, the 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 wind turbines powering stuff, gay. Like I, it they, makes they didn't sense, use much, though. kinda. They, but you remember like, that scene where they drove the truck into the lake? Oh and yeah, and then yeah. he swims out the driver's side window, even though the left side of was gone. The left that made door me laugh. Was completely that made gone. me laugh so fucking hard. I'm like, and, what the fuck are you doing? That's the but, Scott Pilgrim guy. But who he like, chooses to swim through the window of the other door instead. Yeah. That's yeah, the Scott that's Pilgrim guy shit. looking at you through the hole in the wall that he made and then like walking through the door. <laughs> that's what that is. <laughs> but it's not funny. It's just dumb. It was dumb. But uh, yeah, I, I did notice that too. It was silly. But like the chase scenes and stuff like that, those were all awesome. In yeah, they this were game. Sick. Like, It was very intense. So fun. Um, that's kind of a little bit more gameplay, but that's my justification for the story yeah. um, and giving it an eight. What do you think, Zach? I'd give it a six. Um... I just that extra hour and a half at the end it, it ruins the game. It makes the story redundant up to that point. Yeah, I feel like, and I just it sucks because I did have fun playing it. I had a lot of fun playing it. Yeah, but that just kills it. And yeah, the retcons that they made I think is stupid because if you're gonna build a world, you need to be consistent in what you're doing. Yeah, uh, one of the things Anger Ass Black Dude brought up in the chat that I thought was fitting is. Uh, the game is painfully long, but it's also painfully long for the characters, too. And uh, that's why I think it kind of works. I don't because know. See, one of the biggest reasons that I gave it a low score is because it loses all momentum when it switches to Abby. It kind of does, um, yeah. It's it, like hitting they, a wall. They should have done a, like... Resident Evil 2 thing where you have like the the two cam- separate campaigns that kind of like intersect. They should have done that with this game. I could see I, that. having an Abby playthrough and an I Ellie agree. playthrough because like when you switch to Abby, it loses all momentum because it's like, hey, here's the fucking climax of the game. Yeah. And then it's like, yeah, but we're going to take that away. And then it has to build it up again and it doesn't do it as well. Yeah, so that's like, true. Um, I agree, but like at the same time, I didn't mind it as much because I enjoyed playing as Abby. Like it well, ramped I up mean, and it was yeah, fun because so Abby's for me, part like, is a better part of the game because she's, but it's different she has she has more game. Well, she's the she's the Joel the Joel player in this game. She's the aggressive. Yeah, you have like you have yeah, more shoot. game in her part of the game. Yeah, <laughs> like you have it to also, fight. The you game, have to fight more zombies and shit. Yeah. And there's like more actual like fighting, and, which uh, we can put into gameplay too, just because. If you when you play as as Abby, the game still stays as a stealth game, even though you're meant to like be shooting more when you're fighting humans, and they don't really swap to anything where it's like, hey, if you get up to shoot someone, you're still gonna get put on your ass, and that's kind of stupid to me. I've got a question: Are you guys gonna talk about gameplay for two more hours too? Probably no. (laughs) (laughs) The story. This is what we do with these big exclusives. I know. I was trying. I was trying to help you, Zach. It's okay. Yeah, uh, we do this every time. There's a big game that's like a an exclusive. It's like I a five hour review. Bit. Yeah, because it's like my birthday thing they're doing. So oh, is that what it is? All right. Yeah. No. Well, you if it's do, your birthday, you, you could be late if you can want you, to. Can this be Last of Us Part Two, Part One? And you guys come back and review the rest of it. Are we gonna have the most? It's a big ass game. People love this game. I don't think they're gonna. I don't know if we'll. Be have, I don't know if we'll have the most the momentum. About. No. Yeah, let's just do it. Okay. So, uh, gameplay. gameplay. Yeah, let's dive in. Yeah, gameplay, it is a stealth game, which is it, fine. What I don't like it is... It doesn't really change anything from the first game. The only thing that's really different is that they added, like, a dodge mechanic. Every, yeah. I would say everything is better in this game than the first game. No, I mean, it's not, not the AI. The AI, it, for sure, is not better. It's, it's, uh, that's probably true. it's smoother, but it's definitely not better yeah. combat wise because the ai partners but then again mm. ellie didn't really do anything in the first game right yeah. combat wise so she was like just kind of there um 
But this game, you actually have a combat partner who doesn't really do anything for you. Yeah, but that's but see, the that, only that's real not, difference. But is that's that not it's true a little... with Lev because Lev, like, well, Lev did a lot. Like for me on my playthrough, Lev was fucking sniping people with that bow. I mean, and, it and, was and, great. And also, the AI intelligence was tied to like the gameplay difficulty, yeah. which I think is fucking stupid. Yeah. Um. But I mean, like with that too, is I don't. What I didn't like is like the the times I died were because Dina was in my fucking way and wouldn't move. Yeah. There was a part I had to restart because she trapped me in a fucking wall and I couldn't get out. Oh, yeah. I had to restart and I was so goddamn mad. Mm. Or like I set a, I set a trap and there's like someone's like, right, I'm like, oh shit, they're closer than I thought. And I go to jump a window and Dita's fucking f- stupid ass face is there and I can't jump over her and then it explodes and I explode. I'm like, get your fucking AI out of my way. Yeah. Why is that AI right there? There's no reason it should be that stupid. Yeah. And there's a lot of like you sneaking around and then them being and like, then just like standing completely. Like, they're standing yeah. up and they're walking yeah. around behind yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's some bullshit. That um, doesn't matter though because it doesn't blow your cover. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they don't see them for some reason. I was freaking out because there was like the the clickers. And I'm like, (laughs) (laughs) they also took away like a lot of the cooperative stuff Mm -hmm. from the first game where like they had to solve puzzles based on like like, being two people. I I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. I liked it. I don't, I mean, but it got tedious as well. There was like a core gameplay thing and you had different partners in this game. They could have like had different like ways of helping you. I mean, I get it, but like, like, uh, they took out like one whole thing to just do one other puzzle that was like right. tedious the whole time because that's literally what it was is like hey you got to power this thing find a way to power it yeah that's literally no, what the entire the, thing became instead of like the puzzles of like right. oh pushing this pallet this way like bring right. this ladder this way doing this. like it literally became moving garbage cans and then turning on the power generators for this, right. for yeah. but that's the thing yeah. like is their puzzles are repetitive and it suffered for that in gameplay in yeah. my opinion yeah i i think that that is yeah definitely 100 percent. and like if they had been a little bit harder and a little bit more funner funner more fun i would have enjoyed that more but they were super easy and they were just it was just annoying because it's like take this trash can and move 120 feet down the thing yeah um i uh i think the uh gameplay in this thing is fucking great like i i love the gameplay i love the gun porn like you get the gun <laughs> on the bench and it's like you're disassembling it it's hot it's gooey yeah and it's, you're just like oh it's good dude. yeah it's, every, and every it's gun's porn. different yeah. every gun's different you fix it you're like mm-hmm. And I like how the game like rushed up Abby. Oh, it's like parts, parts everywhere. Everyone's got parts. It's like hurry up and upgrade because this game part's shorter. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, kind of shorter. It's not really much shorter, yeah, but it's like shorter by half an hour. But like, I fucking loved the exploration in this game. I love that there's ev- like uh, most of the buildings you can go into, and that's pretty I impressive. Mean, yeah, but there's only like two like bu- like areas that are like somewhat right. Explorable. But like, pretty much all those buildings are accessible. Though, but like, there's the cool. there's the part where you you're fighting the uh, you're fighting fighting Elizabeth Warren's followers at the end. And like you could go climb this uh this fucking derailed train. <laughs> I just caught that. Yeah, that's who it is. It's Elizabeth Warren. Jesus Christ. She's like the body and image of Elizabeth Warren with the AOC craziness. That's what that's what the leader of the scars is. Uh just an insane person. <laughs> um but no, there's that part where like there's a house and you can like go climb up this uh this fucking uh, uh, this wall uh, and it's like a train that's like up on top and you can like go explore it. like I love the exploration in this game I love how much scavenging there is and this is something that I was always like really into as a kid is this idea of like it was before they made The Walking Dead and it was like I wanted a I wanted a zombie thing where like the thing was surviving like having to find food and like having to recreate society and this game kind of got my rocks off a little bit with that because you're constantly like searching for stuff that you can use you're like a mega scavenger and like that was I was like oh that's so cool and like that's why this game is so long is because we spent forever looking in every nook and cranny to find every little thing we could. I explored the shit out of Seattle. And it's fucking cool that you can do that. And there's so much you can do. What I like, too, is, like, it definitely, like, feels like it was lived in at one point. Because, like, even and even after the apocalypse. Yeah, there's been people because there's, like, sleeping because, bags yeah. and, like, <clears throat> Yeah, there's shit. stuff left. Like, there's bodies, like, in certain places that are that there's been skeletons. Or, yeah. And, and like, like, the letters and... And it's... Yeah, you can cool. make this game a 10-hour game. 15-hour... Probably 15 but like I spent forever because I was like I was looking in every area and I thought it was so cool like you, you're driving the boat and then there's like oh there's a little thing you can go off to and then there's a bench back there and there's all these parts there's a fucking dead dude with a note you know there's ammo like it, it, there's so much exploration to do and it's the first game had almost none I think it was, it was cool none. it was cool finding caches as well where it's like hey 
Um, this is for like you know WLF, WLF so and so. Like these are here uh, just so in your next check. If you do need something, leave. I believe something too. Yeah, yeah. And it was like, okay, so you found. I was like, sick. I have this now because I can crack these. Yeah. Or it's like I left the stuff in this the safe because I want you to be okay. Like I want you to get the medicine you need. And it's like, oh, well, you're dead now. And I was like, yeah, sure? mine. Yeah. Yeah. And that's like the weird. The weird thing is thinking back to how simple the first game was because I'm like. All we're doing in the first game is like finding tape and scissors and making weapons out of it. Yeah. And I was like, that seems so cool at the time. And then this game is like, no, this is there's a shit ton of Fucking stuff you grenades. can build. You just make like grenades. It's rad. Yeah, yeah. It's like everything you the first do that game. In the first game. It's everything the first game had, but yeah. better. I think it's cool. I, think, I still like it. I think something is a fun mechanic. Literally, there's like almost no difference between them except for in this one, it's a lot yeah. smoother. Yeah, the game and the the dodging mechanic and stuff. It's crazy. It's way crazy that the the way they I built mean, this. It's kind of a useless mechanic in some ways because you only have to use it against like three enemies in the game. No, I use the dodge a lot. Yeah. I use it a Did lot. You? Yeah, because I didn't have to use it at all except people, for like when you fought grab the, you. the big Russian lady who had the like hammer, and then like the big black dude who was basically like a boss. Yeah, and then that dude with the giant like, sickle. Another dude that I was, think it's like, funny that, that he part. had like the big like sickle looking thing, and she had the hammer. It's like ooh, communism. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> kill it. Uh, he was the final boss. It'll destroy it. Yeah, I, I give. Yeah, like, it did I actually. Give gameplay <laughs> like an eight. I'm I'm gonna agree with that. I'm gonna give it an eight, and only because um, getting put on my ass by a bullet pissed me off multiple times. Because I mean, like when you're playing as a gun person, like you should be able to like not. I, and the, the AI, the AI pissed me off a lot, but I still really AI had fun playing this game. Pissed me off, and the fact that like it was a, it isn't as smooth as like a, a other cover based shooters. Because that's essentially what it is outside of being, like, a stealth game. Um, oh. Because, like, y- you know, y- you'd be behind cover, and instead of, like, just, like, barely aiming over the uh, the barrier, um, your whole ca- your character would stand up and be out of cover to shoot people, which is really fucking stupid when you're in a cover-based shooter. You're just going to get annihilated when that's the case. Yeah, it wasn't as bad as 50 Cent, though. Like, when you're playing 50 Cent on hard... And you stand up for half a second, you get blasted. Well, I know, but you even in that game, you had more cover because you could actually aim over the Which, barrier yeah. without standing up and exposing <laughs> yourself to bullets. Which made less sense because you're the... You, I mean, Ellie is probably almost as buff as 50 Cent. Or not Ellie, uh... Abby. Abby, yeah. Abby's the second buffest character I've ever played as <laughs> after 50. <laughs> but it was pretty close sometimes. I was like, man, am I playing 50 Cent again or what? what's going on here? <laughs> Just fucking grabbing dudes and breaking their necks. Yeah, that's true, though. There's, there's some frustration with that. Um, what did you think of the puzzles, though? I know you guys were complaining about it a little bit. The, I didn't think they were that bad. The but repetitive and the simplistic. The repetitive is the only thing. The repetitive is what got me. The, the cords were just boring. and the, the, the plug-in shit in yeah. was kind of gay. The cords but same with and pull, then, pulling the trash cans. They're just boring. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and, the, yeah, and yeah. the trash can. Yeah, like the, Those are the only two puzzles that exist in the game like, because there's no cooperative like, shit going I don't, on. It's like, it's like with puzzles, like... Uncharted is kind of the same, but they had more variety. There's not even and like, even in God of War, like the puzzles are great. Like if you're they're gonna be fun, well, yeah. I'm yeah. down for it. And and there's not even like Resident Evil style puzzles at all. There's nothing like to really figure out. That's that's kind of basically all in the like opening the safes where they give you like a clue and then yeah. you're like, oh okay, it's just this number. It's like that's, there's and those are that, cool. That's but, literally yeah. it. It's just like extra shit. Yeah, uh, I I don't know. I think the exploration and stuff like that is what really makes this game a joy. And then I think the gunplay is actually pretty good. Um, I like that you can the way you can upgrade the guns. I loved the combat. Upgrading guns is cool, but like like I said, the third person shooter thing where you're like exposed and it's yeah, you take really a lot of dumb. damage because of that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but what I loved. You also, you can't melee people like you could in the first game because like they shoot you and then you fall over. Yeah, but I, that's that makes it a hardcore awesome situation because I'll like get shot and I'll fall back and then I'll like pull out my pistol and just like quickly pop them well, in the I face. Well, I mean, like if you have no ammo, which has happened to me in a couple situations How much did you where miss? I had like no ammo, uh, yeah, like or I, I was trying miss. or I was trying to conserve it for something <laughs> and then like I just get destroyed because yeah. like you can't go run Dude. up and beat these people up. And the plane is Abby. There was one part in the train yard. Holy fuck. All I did was physical. And like I, I picked up a bat 
and like I sprinted out like I was not trying to hide and I just fucking blast this guy's face I jump over something I beat the shit out of another guy I go run back grab the other bat that was there and then I like come back and I beat two more people down and then right as I do that this guy comes sprinting at me and I have nothing left but my pistol and I pull it out and I shoot him right in the fucking face it's like beat down beat down headshot everyone's just chunked it was amazing <laughs> you it's feel like, good you feel awesome <laughs> yeah girl. it's like I'm fucking laying like these guys out you feel like you might actually be as strong as Abby it may be yeah Twice, <laughs> what would you give gameplay out of 10 um i'm gonna give it a nine you're gonna give it a nine out of yeah 10. i think it's i almost gave it a 10 but there there are a couple problems with it um i think the game is a little bit too long and i think gameplay kind of suffers from that i know thematically it, it works really does suffer from the it. biggest thing that's going to suffer from that though is the fucking replayability um but yeah. that is part of the gameplay to me I think it's a little bit too long, and I think that's what makes it kind of suffer. The, the fact that you have to start over, and then you don't even get to keep like the levels you had as Ellie. Yeah, and then it, the game it the even no, worse. The game knows that it's rushing you because, too because there's parts everywhere for her Abby. There's like parts, just fucking parts, because yeah. it's like catch up, catch up to where you were with all the upgrades, and it's like you didn't have and, to and, do it. And this the way. thing is, is like that campaign is just as long it as Ellie's is, was. Yeah. <laughs> So it's like, wow, we couldn't even have like cut it in half and made it like somewhat The simpler. Last of Us Part 2 is two parts. Exactly. Basically. It really is. Yeah, two it distinct is. parts. <laughs> parts two, it should be. Uh, can we get through these next two categories pretty quickly? I think sound and music and yeah. uh, art. And so art sound and music, um, the cast is fucking stellar, dude. Um, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and give this part a 10. Yeah, same. Um, I'm going to give it a 10 as well. Sound of music is fantastic. The voice acting is impeccable. The like sound effects that happen around like the the zombies, the things that they make the like, orgasmic when you sound. when you like shatter glass, like that they yeah. nailed sound like various sounds like that, and, like the guns, like, the, yeah. like everything the sounds everything. right. Yeah. The gib sound when you shoot somebody in the face, it's just, dude, there's like <laughs> there's even like minute sounds of like, oh, you know, you push a um the trash can through some water and you can hear like it when the like the it hit, enters the water and when it's like moving around you can hear that subtle sound of like yeah. it being pushed through the water uh, my like favorite that. sound like, was by far abby choking out zombies and, like pulling their necks out oh yeah like, no, that, that little, like, the little that, pop, that pop. meaty pop yeah oh my god <laughs> yeah. so fucking good it's good yeah it was my favorite sound of that game um but yeah the cast is fucking amazing trey baker always does good ashley mm -hmm. johnson again does fantastic uh, Laura Bailey did really, really well as as Abby. Yeah, um, was... she got death threats actually, which I think is kind of shitty. For what? For playing Abby? Because, yeah, because people hated Abby. Yeah. Why? <laughs> because we live in a fucking people we live are retarded. In, yeah, that happens all the time. It's like with like the it's chick your that played fault. Yeah, like like, like the chick <laughs> that played Rose in like Star Wars and Ray in the new like like the things. They don't have Twitters anymore. Because people were threatening that. Well, I understand. Laura, Ray is no. a terrible character, <laughs> but... Laura Bailey was, like, going to do the same thing. She's not the actress. No, it's yeah. not the actress. The I actress mean, is and not that's the what I'm saying. Yeah. They get the script before they fucking play the part. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah but like, and oh, they have <laughs> no say in what's in that Look, script. man, that first Star Wars movie God, is bullshit. Fucking idiot. No, I know. <laughs> I agree. I can't even, I'm with like, you. It is dumb, yeah, because it's their God, actors. They're pretending it. to be first somebody off, else. It's not real. It's not real. It's not real life. Yeah. So why the fuck are you bothering these people? Exactly. What the fuck is the matter There's with no you? fucking reason for you to be threatening Get on the writers, if Christ. anything, if you don't like it. Oh, yeah, I shall shit talk Druckmann all day, every day, all fucking yeah. day long. That's fuck what's that wrong bitch. with Star Wars Episode Seven is the writing sucks. <laughs> All right. Her character is shit. It's not because of her. Speaking of, sound, speaking of sound and music. Speaking of shit. They yeah. both gave it tens. What do you give it twice? Um, oh, ten for sure. Okay. The, the game sounds amazing. Uh, I, I, I said this while I was playing it. I was like, I don't know if the soundscape is as good as Resi 2. And then I was playing and I was like, you know what? I think it actually is. It's it's as it's good a, in a different a, the way. The ambient sounds yeah. are wonderful. It's not as scary it, of a it's game. It's not a horror game at all. But when it wants to be, it is. Like yeah, when I'm you're saying, like the hospital, scary as shit. Oh yeah. yeah. The hospital, my sphincter well, that's, clenched that's when it turns times. into Resident Evil. <laughs> when you're when you're down in the basement and you got those like the, the red lights and the guys like looking, like that's scary. And then you yeah. and then like all hell breaks loose and you have to run your ass and then you off. You hear the zombies yeah. shambling around. Yeah. That's scary. And like you they're everywhere, and they are fucking coming, man. So, like, it's not as scary as Resi 2. It's not as much of a horror game, but when it wants to be, oh, it can be. Yeah. And the sound plays into that perfectly. Art and graphics. I'm going to give that a 10. Yep. I loved all the design about the game. I loved the character models. I think they looked great. I loved the fucking sham or that not shambler, the amalgamation is one of my yeah. favorite designs out of, like, any video game. I loved the amalgamation. They went, like 
hardcore for the the graphics and design of this game. Oh yeah, it's it's in, it's 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 insane because like there's like little physics stuff that you don't really think about that like you can see um, sometimes. Like you can see the like the little uh, you know shock wave that they make when they step in like puddles. You can like the, yeah. the way that the you know you shatter glass and then the, like the the way that the glass falls is like. It shows you like the like each individual thing like falling to the ground and so yeah. just like completely disappearing like it would in like other games. When like, you get a headshot in this game, holy shit, dude! You'll walk up to the guy and like they're, it's like the oh, side yeah. of their face is ripped off and you can get, see like, their real teeth. Life PTSD from playing the video. Kind of, no, yeah, it is the parts. most violent thing I have ever witnessed. <laughs> dude, it's crazy. Yeah, like and if you get chunk them in body parts as well, like those parts are just laying around. Like, dude, yeah, looks like there's a metal part, as fuck. like we talked about the the black dude with the sickle at the very end of the game. Like you cut his face open with the sickle, and he still and comes you, at and you. He still comes at you, and his you can see like the the like inside of his mouth, like yeah. his jaw with like, you. You the, cut him like the from the like flaps here to this, and he's like can't talk anymore, but he's like. Like you're just like, oh god, it's scarier. Yeah, like, like, it's he, like he's got like a massive mouth. Yeah, because so, he fucking cut it open. So this is a big AAA title. Oh, end, yeah. end of the time, end of the PS4 life cycle. Yeah, basically. this is and yeah. it's like and, pushing and it absolutely. The they yeah. f- amazing. The PS4 is Beautiful. screaming what, when you're playing what? this thing too. It's like, <laughs> oh, kill me. <laughs> Fucking with the slow last me of down! Us, <laughs> slow me down right now! What The Last of Us 1 did on the PS3, this one did for oh, PS4. Yeah. This, is a, I, this is a swan song title right I here. I wouldn't be surprised if it got the same treatment as the first one and was ported to PS5. Yeah. Oh, I would I, I, not I, be surprised I think all. everything in the last year is going to be a PS5 game. And you know what? I... I might replay it and GTA on PS5. Five. That GTA Five is going to come out. And on the, the Witcher PS3. Three already yeah. announced. <laughs> and 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 Skyrim. Speaking Obviously, of, of course, <laughs> it's not a it's not a good brand new console if it doesn't have a if it's, a, a game from three generations. Ago. Yeah, it's not real if Skyrim's <laughs> not on it. God, it's uh, pretend. So Zach brought up replayability. Our final category. Are you going to replay this game? What would you give replayability out of ten? This is where it gets dicey because I'm not really sure what to give it. Because I'm not gonna replay it again, but I don't want to give it a zero. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the two, and the big, the biggest reason is because it's way too fucking long. Um, you experience everything the game has to offer in that one single playthrough. Um, the, like you can go back and play through for the collectibles and for trophies. There's no multiplayer in this one. No, no uh, there's the, not, and, there, and there's no multiplayer. Uh, they were gonna um, do it, but they didn't. I think they're still going to. Okay, it and, sounds like they're. And, uh, you know, it, it's just all, like, the, the two points is for, like, what you can go back and get done. So, I mean, like, there's other harder difficulties if you want to play through those. But, there's like, a permadeath difficulty, which sounds horrifying. There's a permadeath difficulty, which is, <laughs> yeah, that's extremely horrifying when your game is 25 hours long. Yeah. Could you imagine getting to the uh, end of the fight and then dying and it's like, good luck. <laughs> I would break my PlayStation. Yeah. I would never play video games again. Yeah, it's like, done. Out. Uh, <laughs> I quit. <laughs> Tapped. Yeah, I mean, it, it, like I said, just the one playthrough gives you everything the game has to offer, so there's not yeah. much left for you to enjoy by playing it again. Yeah. yeah. Unless you absolutely love it, but then again, it's like 25 hours for not much payoff. But I mean, again, what angry ass black dude did go back and immediately replay it. So for and some people, you know what? If you really people, love it, then yeah. you really love it. But I was saying, like, some people really, really love the game, and that's. But some that's people not... also really love Final Fantasy X. So I mean... Go fuck yourself, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> but like, what, what, like, like at the end of this review too? Like, if you liked it, like, it's totally fine. Like, I'm not gonna give you shit for liking it. Maybe, but like, don't give like, cause I, I, I feel like there's gonna be backlash on this episode because of how we're reviewing it, because we don't like it, and it's like a popular game, and it's one of those things where it's like. I'm not going to treat you shitty. I mean, so don't be bitchy to us. It's not, Man, it's not you, that guys, you guys don't. I, I think it's I don't pretty think that it's game. not that we don't like it. We've rated it pretty well. <laughs> like, yeah. It's just that, like, I personally don't feel like the story was done anywhere near as well as the first game. Yeah. And, and it's, it's a 20... huge letdown, and it's trying to play off of a lot of what happened in the yeah. first game. Yeah. And then, as far as repl- replayability goes, we can't give it much since, again, you know, they they didn't give it multiplayer. And it, ha- it yeah. gives you everything it has to offer right. in the one playthrough. I think and, and the you, multiplayer is going to be a standalone thing anyway. Okay. I no, think that's, that's cool. what they were talking. The thing is, like, I was kind of thinking about it with like my score because I'm like, with Avengers, I rated it as it like, now, like when it came out, like none of the patches they'd put in. Yeah. So I have to do the same with this, and like honestly, I I would probably give it, I'd give it a three because if it does come out on PS5, I I might pick it up again. Um. 
but I, it's very unlikely. Okay. If it had multiplayer, I would give it a higher score because I liked the multiplayer for the first one. I thought it was fun. It was fun. Oh, just, it was a blast. Yeah. So, like, if it had that, 100%, but I don't plan on revisiting this Homeless game. people beating the shit out of each other? <laughs> I don't know why Los Angeles bum hasn't fight, done this. Bum yeah. fights, bum fights, bum fights. Are you going to replay a choice? Um, okay, I think there's a lot of reasons to replay it because it's a fun game to play. Um, I think the gameplay is excellent. I think the fighting is really good. I think the combat is a lot of fun. It's fun to explore the world, but I do think that has a finite thing. And I think one of the reasons why they made the game so long, I think Gangry asked Black Dude when he was talking about this, because it's supposed to be this long, drawn-out, like miserable thing where they feel compelled to do something they know they shouldn't, and they eventually come to that term. And it makes it a long game, and it makes you feel the way they feel. No, but I don't... You gotta be wrapped in in order I, for that to work, though. Yeah, and yeah. I was. But, like, at the same time, I'm like, I want this game to be done. I'm like, it's so long. And I'm like, fuck. And it's, that's, I think that's intended, but that doesn't really work for replaying the game because it's like, I don't want to be miserable while I'm fucking replaying it. Oh, and you're gonna be miserable. And it's weird because this is like the anti-Death Stranding. Because, like, Death Stranding, the gameplay was retarded and the story was like, <laughs> oh my god, it's like the best story ever. Well, I mean, in the last, like... Yeah, but yeah, it's true. Hours. There's a lot of there's a lot of <laughs> bullshit, but it's like the opposite. This gameplay is like, holy shit, this gameplay is good, but damn, that story is just too much. It's too long. Uh, so it's like weirdly, it, it, Death Stranding is definitely a better game than this. But you know, it, it, <laughs> really, well, okay. it is. Yeah, it's bizarre. It's bizarrely satisfying to do. I heard deliveries. your Death Stranding review, and I, it made me not want to play. It. <laughs> 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 The the gameplay in this is it's the opposite though it's the really good gameplay and the the story is kind of where it's lacking and the other one's really good story and the gameplay is like eh. which is really weird because one's trying to be a game and the other one's trying to be a movie yeah <laughs> exactly <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right so what would you give the score um I'm gonna give replayability I think I'm gonna give it a six a six um all right. I think the, the story it's too long. Um, I wish there was a multiplayer. I know they're saying they're going to add it later, which I will play because it's, I mean, this gameplay is I would good. Play it too. It's good gameplay. So I think the multiplayer is going to be a blast. They didn't have if it in here. They make it a separate thing. That game by itself is going to be better than this game. Uh, probably. Yeah. Cause it was, it was so much fun playing the game. I mean, first if it's games. just the gameplay, like, I mean, and you know what? The last of us one had in its multiplayer had its own kind of like mini stories that yeah. were basically based out entirely off of gameplay. I mean, like, Hey, you're playing as this faction. Yeah. You got and then it became like organ trail as you were like playing through. <laughs> it like, kind of did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was like organ trail. Just and then scary. like your encounters were the gameplay. Like that's what it was. So uh, while Schweiss is crunching the numbers together, Zach has to go to his own birthday party that he's late for. Hell yeah. So, so Zach, can you wrap up your thoughts on Last of Us and you can fuck off if you want? <laughs> I will. Okay. <laughs> um, I, I can't. I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of like, you know, you should play this. I, if you're a fan, I think it's worth a shot. I can't tell you to like play this game because I didn't want to play this game. I only played it because we were going to review it. Um, I didn't. The first one I think is great, and it should have been a standalone. Uh, but here we are with the Disney mentality. Um, I'm glad straight that, to DVD. I'm glad there's people that really enjoy it. I wasn't one of them. Like playing it was fun. Story was meager at best. Uh, yeah. I mean, if you're gonna like it, you're gonna like it, and that's how it is. Like, I like the new Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. What else does? Wait, so, do you like, like Episode Eight though? It's okay. It's okay. There's I like some it. people that think that's the best one. It's not. So I, like, like, I, I, I guess, no, no, I guess no. they can get okay. the best not, let's, not, let's not get into that. When Empire Strikes <laughs> Back exists. I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, anyway like, I don't know. I'm not going to, yeah, like, if you enjoyed it, like, I'm happy for you. I'm glad you got your 60 bucks worth. I didn't yeah. get my 60 bu- bucks worth, period. I got our 60 bucks worth. <laughs> yes. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> but sorry, I got to peace out. Uh, yeah. All, All right, right there cool. you go. Thanks, guys. Uh, for me... I think it was a good game. I think there's a lot of great things in this game. I don't think the execution was as good as it could or should have been. Um, and this is where this is where I kind of agree with you guys. I think you guys are overblowing it um, with the flaws. I think a lot of people are going super ham with the flaws. Uh, honestly, part of the reason why the other the story is a little weak is because I don't really care about the the girl that. Um, that Abby's with, you know, the guy girl, I, the, the trans character. Yeah, I don't, I, I'm like, you know, it's. You I didn't like care about the best part of the game was the three hour section where they bond. 
No, not really. Yeah, just that like, is the eh. best part of that game because it's reminiscent of the first game. It is. Yeah, it's the one part that's reminiscent. But I, I, I don't know. I felt like that was kind of a cheap. It almost feels like it's yeah, like a reminiscent of the first game. It's like just leave it. Like we already have our own little thing. The game is f- great in a lot of ways, and it looks amazing. And the soundtrack is great, and the fucking voice acting is great. I do think it's too long, um, but I think if you like the first one, I would say play the second one. Um, I think it's worth playing. I think I, I think there's a lot of good things about it. This could have been the best game of this generation, and they fucked it up. I think. I think there's a few things they could have tweaked with the story that made it a little bit too over the top and like like Zach said, a little too days of our lives, like bullshit drama. There's a little bit too much of that. And then some of the stuff doesn't really work as well. And it is a little bit too long. Otherwise, I think this could have been the best this could have been the flagship PS4 game. And it almost was in a lot of ways. And in some ways graphically, like this is top notch. Like the exit wounds on those fucking shots. So, uh, I will say the, All entrance, the graphics for Schweizer violence. It's That's crazy. The real mark. Yeah, it's so how fucking, realistic is the killing? I mean, the entrance wounds very. are massive too, so not very realistic because the entrance wound is going to be tiny. The exit wound is the like. <laughs> That's the like explosive they diarrhea. Really the, they don't really have the wounds for when you like Tell beat them down like. or like cut them with the machete or anything though. Yeah, the gib you they can blow people's arms off. alone, but you can't cut them in half. Yeah, you yeah. can blow them up and you could shoot the fuck out of them, but you can't cut them or beat them with a two by four. Yeah, which is unfortunate. That's sad. I want to see shame. like I want to see like eyeballs hanging out. <laughs> then I would truly come. Then the then the graphics would be an eleven. That's right. Yeah, and instead it's just a it's a mere <laughs> nine <laughs> or ten. What are you, I'll give it tens. Uh, this could have been the ultimate PS4 game, though. I'm like not kidding you, and it's not far from it. Um, but it's but actually it is. God of War. Yeah. But it actually is far from God of War because God of War is a much better game. Uh, but there's a lot of things they did right, and there's a few things they did I don't think they did as well. Um, the story kind of suffers from, and it sucks because part of it is really putting you in that mood. But it's almost like it's a movie with a big twist to me because like the emotional drain on you as a player is genius. But at the same time, it makes me not want to play the game again in a lot of ways because it's like, oh, it's just so long. And it's so it's like it's like watching uh, Sixth Sense the third time. Right. The first time you're like, oh, wow. Second time you're like, oh, my God, there's all those moments of like, here's him pointing out that he was dead. And then the third time it's like, yeah, I've I already seen got it. it. I've seen it like 12 times and I think it's great every time. But OK, <laughs> it's like I got it already. I've already <laughs> had it. I, I already had the figure out. I already had the twist and then I had to f- watch the twist and then I'm done. I don't think that's all that's to that movie, but yeah, that's fair. I think, you, example, I think your sure. example is more like the hangover where the first time is like hilarious, hilarious. Yeah. But every time after that, you're like, eh, it's, it's less and less funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, that's probably more accurate. Craig, what are your final thoughts? Um, I think that the game just loses all its momentum by switching characters. And I think that was a huge mistake. Um, it should have been one or the other or just not had you play as Abby, even though arguably that is the best part gameplay wise. Yeah, it's like they wanted um, their cake and they, but they ate it all too the, with that. All thing. the real story happens with Ellie because that's who you care about, because that's who the sequel is about. Like, that's yeah. she coming off the first game, that's who you want to know. Like, everything that you have is for Ellie. And then it's like, nope, now you have to play as this other character for another 10 and a half hours. And you just don't care. And it's right. And, you're right. It's right at the climax of the whole and it's confrontation. Right, yeah, it's right at the climax. And then you're like, okay, so you just kind of like fucking made us edge. And then you're like, oh, now you're not going to come. Yeah. That's that's what it is. They're holding your... They blue balls you and it's fucking horse shit. And, you know, I can't... I can't, can't say come like... after that? I mean, I, I can't say play it or don't play it. I mean, okay, it's... I think that it's... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, you have to get aroused again, and it's really hard. It's really hard with this game. It's really hard for I you. Mean, I mean, <laughs> like, the the last half of the game is another man, so it's like, ah. Yeah, pretty much a man, yeah. You have to be gay sometimes, to sometimes Shut she's your a, eyes, you know? Sometimes she's a woman again, but <laughs> mostly she's a man. She's a man in our eyes. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I can't, I can't, like, say, you know, what you should do with the game. Uh, I think personally that it's a terrible sequel. Um, it just shouldn't have happened. Uh, like the story is not great. Um, you know, you kill off everybody's fan favorite of Joel, like right at the beginning, they did it purely for shock value. There was like no story thing that like was helped by that happening. Um, I don't know. It, it just, 
you, you know, you wanted more of what happened in the first game, which is like the the intimate storytelling of a couple characters, and they, you know, you know, you like you compared it to Days of Our Lives, which is basically what happened. It became way too many characters, became way too much drama between like a thousand different characters that you, you didn't, you spent like maybe twenty minutes with, so you didn't have enough time to care about them. Whereas, like, with the first game, you know, you had that whole 10 hours to develop a thing between Abby and, I mean, Ellie and Joel. Because they didn't like each other at first. And then, you know, they come around to, at the end to, like, they're basically, like, father and daughter. Yeah. And nothing remotely like that happens in this game at all. So, basically, every relationship, to me, feels completely unbelievable. Yeah, that's fair. All right. Well, we've heard what everybody thoughts were um yeah. let's do a recap on that do a score. recap on those scores so story three from craig six from zach eight from me gameplay eights from craig and zach a nine from me sound and music tens across the board graphics and design tens across the board uh replayability a grunt from craig uh three from <laughs> zach and a six from me um a total of 33 out of 50 from craig 37 out of 50 from Zach and 43 out of 50 from myself for a combined 113 out of 150, a 75 out of 100 uh, for I think the that's last fair. part two. Yeah. Uh, Metacritic, Three out of four stars. <sighs> Metacritic has it at a 93. <laughs> that's, that's a little high. <laughs> that, that's higher than God of Wars, and that's bullshit. That's, that, I can't imagine any game being better than God of War. Because yeah, it's a lie. Yeah, um, that like I said, this could have been the ultimate game, and they. they I think there's. It a little bit. I think there's too much like. I don't know. There's a lot of that's being taken away from the player in the game, and I don't think that it serves the game well because of that shit. And obviously, starting the game over from like the halfway point. Yeah, I mean it's it's a game. It's a That's game something that, that I genuinely don't understand why people are able to give it such a high score just because of that. <sighs> like that's enough to like because like if that had happened in like you know any other game, you'd be like, God damn it, this is fucking stupid. Like that's the biggest reason that Devil May Cry Four was like you know critically slammed is because like they basically did the same shit. They like halfway through, you play as a different character for like the same basic gameplay. <laughs> Because, like, Abby and uh, Ellie's, like, story are almost, like, the same. Yeah, you know what they could have done? Then that's kind of the point, is, like, they're trying to show them as, like, similar characters. Like, yeah. Like, following a similar journey. What like, they, it's... What, think of, what yeah. about this? What about Last of Us 2 is just Abby? I mean, that would work better. And then Last of Us 3 is their, them coming together as, like, the penultimate, like, showdown. What of uh, Ellie hunting down Abby? Yeah. And I then mean, that's where it all climaxes. That would have worked. But, again, like, I, I would much rather have had it just be, like, people who had nothing to do with Abby. Or Ellie and Joel. Like, just nothing to do with them. Yeah, a separate story altogether. I don't think they're ever going to do that. But I think they could have. And it would have worked. I mean, you know? like, that's like, something that, like, doesn't really happen. Is like, you build a world and you're just like, hey, we could explore more intimate storytelling of like other shit but like with the same world we can reuse it like they didn't have to use the same characters again and fuck them up you know because like sequels are hard to do like either you do them really well or it fucks over everything that you did yeah all right well I, i'm sad that we didn't get to beat the shit out of troy baker's character in this one like we did in, uh, in uh, death stranding he just got yeah. the shit beat out of him instead <laughs> yeah that's true <laughs> I didn't get to bring him with the fucking golf club. But yeah. We were going to have a question at the end of this episode, but now this episode's three hours long. So I think yeah. we can probably skip that. Probably. Yeah. yeah. Um, thank you guys for listening to another episode of Nude Clan. Uh, you can check us out on Facebook. If you want to search Nude Clan on YouTube, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm trying to build it over there. Um, and you just search Nude Clan, you'll be able to find us. Uh, I, uh, the show is at nude clan podcast. If you want to join our discord, you can click on that. Uh, it's in the, is it in the description or is it a pin tweet? Pin tweet. It's a pin tweet. It's um, a perma invite link. So that's join. right. Please. Join. Um, you can tweet Zach at B Griggs, uh, Griggs. How do you even B spell Grixis. that? I heard G- it for weeks and I could never. G R I X I S I S. Yeah. B. B- Grixix. 
Grixis. 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 Yeah. yeah. I am at Joseph Eulier. At, at U- Obsidian Ba. Oh, at UFF Podcast. And um, if you want to support the show, there's links in the description below. I guess the Amazon one's not working for now. Yeah. Um, Audible trial, audibletrial.com forward slash nude clan. That's please, our website. Please join us in uh, the book, the book reading. <laughs> oh, what if I put that in the Amazon? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. This is our website. <laughs> um, so you can subscribe to us on Twitch. Yeah. Uh, Twitch.tv slash nude clan gaming. And uh, last but not least, Patreon. Yeah. Search Nude Clan on Patreon and uh and support the show there. We really appreciate it, guys. Go check out our other shows, Ultimate Final Fantasy, the Ultimate Final Fantasy Podcast, uh the Godzilla Podcast. You can check out um the Puff Puff Hour. You can check out For a Few Chickens More, a song of Swy- Schweiss and Johnson waiting on one last episode, I believe. Yeah. Um and um then you can Check out Getting Fat with Caleb and Joe if you want. And Super Sexy Swinging Fan Fiction happened. It certainly did. <laughs> biggest show on uh, biggest show on the network. According to uh, something <laughs> According with to very wrong addict. numbers. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, very wrong. Like extra, don't, don't listen to that. That's but that's it for this week, guys. Do we have any drawings or anything we got to do? Nope. Not yet. Okay. All right. I guess that's it. See you guys next week. Enjoy the nude. Live always in the nude. Fuck off.